Get the ush number, boys. It's Deep House. Hmm. <laughs> so at what point did you fuck up my name? Fuck it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> so let's get to the point where I'm calling you and your w- wife is answering. Fuck, what happened? <laughs> hey. So tell us about this Grammy. Which one is this Grammy? This is the this, first one you won. This was the first one in... Hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't talk to it like it's just a... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Yes. Look at this beauty. Oh. So deep. It's pure. Yeah. It's pure. Ay, man. No, but we're talking because some chillers believe they have spotted the ghost, ghost lady, lady from the reflection. Uh, her reflection here. Yeah. But apparently it was pure. And genuinely, it's pure looks like a woman. <laughs> you really do. Bro, I'll send you a picture of pure in, in his afro. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Basically, Pure looks like a good-looking boy. You know, a look good-looking girl. Kind of like... <laughs> yes, he, he looks like boys. a girl, no, 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 but no. he's still a handsome young man. Yeah, right? he's a beautiful boy. You know when you say a boy is beautiful? Yes. Because normally boys are handsome. Yes. He's a beautiful boy. Yeah, he's a good-looking fella. Yeah. But dogs, Pure. <laughs> Yo, I can't even walk anywhere now. People are like, yeah, I'm going to fucking CV. I'm going to look for the podcast. Hey. Did he really get a blowjob? And I'm like, dog, wouldn't we have you lied about anything on the show? <laughs> Why would we start now? They're like, you, you really got a blowjob. And then so I was in Mexicasi last night. I was with yeah. my boys, man, my yeah. friends, man. Yeah. Been friends with them niggas since like childhood, primary. Yeah. And people are like, I use period. <laughs> I use Pewit. I use Pewit. Oh, to your I friends. I use Pewit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dog, you're the most spoken about individual in the country. But After what, Tabo Pesta and Nandi behind them. What, what happened last night? Because we've been waiting for you for four hours. This has never <laughs> happened. Yeah, yeah, ever. you know. Podcast this shoot was supposed to happen in at 2 p.m. podcast history, I've never been late. Yeah. Or, what happened? What happened? Been a, a no it's show. 7 p.m., yeah. by the way, right now. It's a no show. It's 7 p.m. Yeah. We've been waiting for him. Uh, the shoot <sighs> was at 2. 2 p.m. <laughs> 2 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh because I'm like, ah, 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? Boy. So, do you know, just before you entered, we're having a meeting. I even had us, Brad Dave, if we can shoot tomorrow. Yeah. Just for Are you, you bruh. Yeah. yeah. We're like, ah, so... We had so, given up. We had given so, up. Dog, uh, like, so, yesterday, randomly, my friend calls, calls me. Um, see here, you know, from Fosler. He's like, yo, what up, man? I'm at my shop. He's got like a bottle store and stuff. Like, I'm at my shop, bro. I'm, I'm with Lerato. Lerato is one of our friends as well. Childhood friends, all these guys. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, man. I, 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 yeah, just checking up on me, you know. So just oh. say, I love you. We love you. Shop, shop. I'm like, all right, cool, fam. No worry. Then I'm like, no, man. Actually, I'm not doing anything. Let me fucking, <laughs> let me go to Force Law, you know. Let me go to guys and, mm. and chill. I haven't mm. done that in a while. Just like, I think it was December, November last time. And then went there, but it was a flop in January. You know, when you feel like a shisanya, but like on a Sunday at like four. And then, so I'm like, fuck, man. You go, guys. You know? <laughs> and I knew that I was up to no good because I was like, I'm going to leave the car. I'm going to Uber. Yeah. I'm going to Uber. You I'm mean like, you Uber from Hillbro to Foslo? Ah, ghost lady. <laughs> People know it doesn't stay in Hillbro. People know it doesn't stay in Hillbro. Yeah, come on. Even further, ah, from Santin. 
too fast, yo. <laughs> you're Uber boy. From sent to and, and, and it's funny because you know when you request, right? It was balls technically. <laughs> it, it shows. And then the drivers keep cancelling on you, you know? They're like, hi, 280. And I, I knew that the 241, which was the goal, they're not going to take. But I tried, okay. You know, the 281, which is the normal one. And they're like, 280 to go there. And remember, they're thinking, flip, win the North. We can, two trips it, from here to Bryanston to Santa, yeah. to uh, uh, Sandhurst and come back. They'll make, so everybody keeps cancelling. And then mm. one guy caught. And I remember smoking weed on my high. And then the guy calls me. I'm like, oh, Sophie. I'm like, dialogue figure. What do you mean? The dialogue figure, man. But now they wait because it, it charges you mm. every time, like for a minute after a particular waiting period. Mm. I get there only to find out this from Sprayed View. So he's like, hi, I know Forsler very well. It's going to Forsler. So I'm like, good shot. So we chat, you know? We chat there, we're chatting. And then I get to Kasi, get to see his place. Lerato is by his place. Then I'm like, yo, hop in. Leave everything. Leave your car. Hop in. We go to Lerato, we pick him up. And we then we go to Endawen. Yo! Mm. Endawen is a place in Foslo. Now, mm. well, shout out to my boy, man, Sfiso. By the way, shout out to Sfiso, man. Like he's been, he was a huge part. Like, you know yeah, when your manager. No, 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 no. Different, different Sfiso. Okay. Childhood friend. Uh, slightly older than us but you know uh, he's the guy like who taught us how to DJ and everything like you know deep like a house fanatic Sfiso DJ um, hey man and I forgot that it's Friday so he always post he's always posting he's always posting he forgot it's Friday <laughs> so he's always posting Sfiso right Authentic Fridays and that's a, a, an event he does um, at Forslow and Darwin with Zidane Zidane iconic Forslow DJ isn't that Dudu's Lady Dudu's father no no that's that's a, 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 a Chalk oh, DJ Chalk is, is a, a, a Lady Dudu's father Sandy but he was playing during the times of Chalk mm. shout out man Forslow Legends mm. uh, Sandy DJ 44 um, yeah man Chalk you know um, and so I get to Ndawin and I'm like, where's it going? What Ndawin? I'm like, cool. No, I forgot. And then I get the Ush number, boys. It's Deep House. Hmm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I decide. Then, what's that guy's name? Fuck. Shout out to that guy, bro. You know the clip? That guy that talks a lot. That prison guy. Tra. Um, Utra. Shout out to Tra, man. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So we get the Ushi number, boy. And then my no, boy is no like, piano, no, no piano. No, it's like, no, authentic Friday. I'm like, oh, fuck, yes. I obviously want to get that great fee, so it's my boy, you know. Zandi was playing. I'm not Zandi, I mean Zidane. Oh, yeah, you, you confusing Zidane with Zandi. Zandi's do, uh, Lady Do's uh, uh, um, um, uncle, yes. Zandi, shy Ushi number, like, yo. And they go, go ahead. Gamnandi, though. Not like you can't walk, you know. Yo, Ushi number, you can see these are. Uh, Young professionals, good, clean crowd. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, gong, 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 gong. Let me play the state task, boy. Hey, I was watching your state and it's like 2 p.m. 2 a.m. actually. Man, I got in my feelings. Well, share your number so much, I posted a picture of my young self. <laughs> in, yes. in primary school. I saw I'm that. Like, yeah, if I can have a chat with this young man. I'm like, in Ghana, P. Have you been to Groove? What about Nandi? You started going and posting. And then, <laughs> and then guess who shows up? Pigs and Terrace. You know how I got to the picture. Pigs and Terrace shows up. You know, he's chilling. He's like, oh, I'm like, all right. I'm like, no, check me, check in. And then, we'll put your passport this coming off for eat pizza tomorrow morning. Wow. You know, Pigs and he lives that life. Number one life for Steph Ray Pizza. So now my friend talks to him. I'm like, oh, uh, but he knows Pegson, obviously. Everybody knows mm. Pegson from the hood. But then Pegson was like, so I went to St. Francis. And I'm like, how? Oh, Pegson went to St. Francis. You know, went to the same school. Never noticed him, ever. So now I'm going on my Facebook to find a, a picture of me in school. So in matric. Then I'm like, yeah, well, I was like, yo. Then I see the young picture of myself. I'm like, yo, go, go, go. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, if I can have a conversation with this young man. Well, okay, what were you going to say, so? Is is. This is the last night. Yeah, Fox said. Fox said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, you, you. Okay. So, man, yeah. 
So mind you, so. <laughs> okay, what were we talking? So mind you, because we all went out last night. So mind you, why couldn't you make it for work? Ah, you're not coming. Ah, you're not coming. Boy, sasuga da. Oh man, it was a beautiful evening. Sasuga da, you know. And then we 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 went to. Hey, the lady tried to finish me the waiter. So obviously we bought the rider, you know, we bought the, uh, uh, the rider, the usual riders we have, you know. I'm like, Crenshaw, they're like, ah, they don't have you. And now we must fucking stock Crenshaw. And then the lady's trying to finish me. It's like five to two. Yeah, well, yeah, well that new car, my I want to buy another bottle. Yeah, well, six is like, no, they're closing at two. Then she told me to close at six. <laughs> just so I can buy a bottle. You know, she's like, I hate him. I'm like, yeah, that's why you must have true friends. And then we went to a, a, a White House. Spray view, man. Yeah, well, Ten past four. Giddy, giddy, giddy. 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 Oh, 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 your partner going out, you going out. You don't need to be in the same environment. You don't oh, need yeah. to be in the same space. You know what I mean? Because we party different, you know? I'm the chilling kind of guy. Yeah, well, but I, I was dancing yesterday. But I'm the chilling kind of guy. <laughs> and if someone wants to, your woman wants to dance, or, and sometimes, you know what I mean? Practice going out with your friends. She goes out with her friends. And, you know, she was out. And obviously, video calls and stuff. Yeah, well, and then... I'm like, I'm going to be Yeah, I said I'm going to be home at one. <laughs> <laughs> and three, I'm posting pictures of my young self. I'm like, if I could have a conversation with this young wait, man. Wait, Lele. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I said, I said ah, I'm going to be home at five. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be home at five. That time she's like, I'm, I'm on my way home. What do you mean? I'm like, I five. Ah, oh, so big white house on four. We chilled, I won't. Chill to some bitter ass nigga. Niggas bitter. That bitter niggas. That nigga doesn't want to let my friend go through. Yeah, mm. I'm a I'm a tough fool. Mm. And they found us there. I'm like, stay, don't worry, bro. Just go through here. No five. That nigga's drunk, tripping over us now, on our laps. I'm like, oh, this bitter nigga. <laughs> my friend is helping him up, and his friend now fights with my friend. Like, yeah, when him when him inside, no one like I bo. Yeah, swear, like let me out there. I'm like, yeah, swear. And I'm like, just bitter ass niggas. People, people really go to parties. With, <laughs> hey man, people are angry, dog. They go to parties with anger, 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 anger. Anger, anger. <laughs> and when people go to parties, <laughs> angry dog, go like, and never tell us, that's what I can see, like, I only, and you're like, what? Thinking they, they're, they're who they are, you know? So, uh, he falls, he collapses, it's on us now. I'm like, nigga, I must pee it. He's trying to give me a head, I'm like, I must pee it, though. <laughs> hey, spew on my blowjob. <laughs> spew on my blowjob. And then, Cool, but Spiro then I'm a, Spiro I'm a Spiro Spiro I'm a blow job. Spiway. So, then they leave. Yeah, Spiway stands for Spiro my blow job. Yeah, Spiro my blow. I'm going to play with Spiro my blow job. Spiro my blow job. So, 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 so they leave. I wish you I had a beautiful moment, man. Never. So. Oh, see, cause like, yo, do you see who that is? I'm like, no, I'm born. And I'm like, oh fuck, it's Quish. Yeah, well, Quish is from Forsland. Now, shout out to Quish, man. He's one of like the pioneering producers of I'm a piano, you know? Teka, dung, 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 Teka. That's Quish, man. He's fucking amazing, right? He just dropped a project. So I'm like, oh, Quish, oh, fuck, great, man. Yeah, well, go to Quish and talk to him, you know? This is five in the morning. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, bro. And you're supposed to be home. Who's your name? Who's your name? Who's your name? Yo, Quish, boy. Quish, like, ah, bro. And I'm like, Banajo, you're fucking amazing, bro. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, then he's like, then he's, I don't know how we got there, but he's like, nah, man, he, he doesn't, he hates fame, mm. you know? Hates fame, like, totally, like, I don't, like, I hate it, you know? As long as I'm good, I can do what I love, and, you know, 
live with my family, support them and everything, comfort shop, you know, and he's chilling. Just chilling, vibing. And then, Mengitika, them two, he's chilling here also. It's like, ah! So it's like, dog, I know you're from Foster and whatnot, but it's so refreshing when just seeing your car. See, like, what do you mean, dog? Like, I come a lot. I just don't party because my daughter, you know, lives with Umama at Foster. So I'm like, nah, bro. And we chat and we chat. Now, I don't know if you've seen on Instagram, you dropped the song, School is Nice. Mm. It's fucking beautiful. Yes, them two, them two. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, 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 when that song came on. Yeah, it's not, canti- it's not canteen level, but it's beautiful, yeah. No, it's not. But, uh, that, and that's the thing. And, and that's when you hear... <laughs> Canteen, it's your Canteen. I don't get come out. I don't get come out. I don't get come out. So, yo, that's wrong. Yo, 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 yo. Ha! Yo! And the bro, that's what the thing about Foster. They love music there. And also, that's what you share. And we're having a conversation with Fiso. And then I'm like, bro, it, it, Foster was one of the places where piano, you know, was big before piano was piano. Where, mm-hmm. Like it was formulated, you know. There's other places, mm-hmm. you know, shout out Pretoria and Vibes, but there was a sound. And you can hear to them Tudor's uh, influence mm-hmm. in the house. You know, and the quish influence in the house, the house music, and and what we're talking about. And Swiss was like, "Yeah, boy, because you can hear where piano's moving now. It's getting more soulful, more music. It's getting getting back to house. It's getting back to house. The origins. You know what I mean? With the lock drum." With the lock drum, mm. and it's it doesn't dance a lot mm. uh, these days. You know what I mean? Mm. It's getting back to where it started with the house, and that's the most beautiful thing to witness, bro. Fuck, and also, to, like how, cause before, and it's funny, cause Fisa, because he used to be the guy who didn't enjoy black coffee, a black coffee set, because he was a purist, and now to hear even the deep house cats. Play because it, it became Afro techy as well, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And you're like, fuck, but you are the one, you know? And it's beautiful to see just people embracing music. Afro tech is the new house. Basically. It's the new house. You see, there, I could have played a, a, a piano set, a spiritual, soulful, private school set, and people wouldn't mind because they're there for the music and it complements well with the bass lines are similar. And uh, So, at what point did you fuck up McLean? Fuck it. Oh, <laughs> Um, translation, at what point did you fagay makaleni? I, I, you need to come You need to I, 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 fagay makaleni. Oh, bro, if I fagay makaleni, I wasn't, I was going to be at eight in the Wait. morning. <laughs> Waiting for all of you, like, where the fuck are you? <laughs> so then, <laughs> got home at seven. My woman is in bed. She's sleeping. Mm. <laughs> He's never been to my house. My friend tucks me in. Mm. Like at seven. Has your friend ever, has you gotten show shit fake? Your friend tucks you in. Yeah. You know, my friend. So, and you Ubered, me. I Ubered. Yeah. No, no, no. Hey, hey. Ah, you're come on. <laughs> so, listen. So, so uh, the one time, um, many months ago, I was playing somewhere in Alberton. And then Coffee Zar pulls up, right? Now, he is this guy. Put him up here as P winner, but I just want to show you who. So this is many months ago. Coffee's up, pulls up. The guy does his kids. You know him? Good leg. I don't know him. You don't know these kids? Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy, yes. That guy who always reenacts uh, our stuff. Oh, our stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had pulled up in Alberton. So I had his number. Beautiful. You know, it's so nice when someone takes your number. And they save it, you save theirs. Akupi. Akupi. That's want an interview. You know, a lot of people always want something like an interview or this or that. Or, or I'm this. pushing this. Or I'm pushing this. No. But he realized and sent that way. And he's like, yo, bro, can I come through? I'm like, fuck, come through. So he got there and I'm like, who are you with? He's like, alone. I'm like, good shot. Come chill with us. Mm. You know what I mean? So he's chilling with us. You know? VIP. Ah, man. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so he's chilling with us. So 
So now I'm cool like a chill, like my friends also, they're weird, like, who's this guy? I'm like, cool like a man, it's like a super chiller, like, it's a, uh, uh. and I show them, like, oh, this guy! Yeah. And now they're fans, they're fanning out, like, well, then we chill. So <laughs> from India, I went into White House, and Kulega was like, yo, listen, I came with my car, I'm by myself. And shout out to Kulega, he just recently bought a house. Yeah. Oh! Shout out, man. Wow. Recent- from, from content creation? No, he's a, he's a cop. Oh! No, no, he's a cop by profession. He's oh, actually wow. a police officer, that oh, guy. Really? He's a cop cop, like cop cop, poisa. Uniform, poisa. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's saying him, my friend, is they bonding because Tay's dad is a cop. And he's like, I can tell a cop, I smell a cop, and whatever, you know, cool. So he's like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I came with my car, I'm alone. Oh, Tay wanted to drive. So I'm like, no, don't fucking drive, bro. Just Uber, you know what I mean? Then he Ubered and he came as well from uh, 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 hell up, Tal Park, Benoni. So you're snitching at this point. No, I, I'm not, because you should have told his wife that he's coming to party. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked, do you tell your wife, you know, so that, you know what I mean? Because I hate it, I'm always, they'll be like, damn, Solo's back in the hood for one night and already, you know, because I'm always a corrupt guy. You know yeah, what I mean? like, I'm like, no, but did you tell your wife that you're mm. coming to party? <laughs> and then he's like, hey, you're a <laughs> I'm like, talk. Now we're going to be the bad guys. And also we didn't call him because it was an impromptu thing. Yeah. So he saw, oh, fuck. So it's Tay. So, so at three o'clock in the morning, right? I post a picture of my young self yeah. on Twitter. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like, oh, if I could have a conversation with this young, young guy. Man, yeah. Stay comment. He's like, yeah, please have a conversation and tell him that you don't play cricket in the fucking morning when it's raining. Because I was that friend. I was going to knock on your door. It's raining. It's cold. It's winter or whatever. Let's go play cricket. You know what I mean? I was that, uh, I was, I was that okay. fake pop friend who just loves Pushamataera, doing some r- things in the streets, exploring, you know? So then he reveals, he's like, then, then I'm like, oh, damn, bro. But cricket is good. You know, you must play cricket. Then he's like, yeah, but you disturbed me. And I was keep on my secret now. Then he's like, no, but you disturbed me, you know. But thank you. I thank you for that because I was just going to be home uh, masturbating to, um, what was he masturbating to? He said he used to chill home masturbating to Panyaza. <laughs> what? Panyaza. And it's funny where the Panyaza are in the hood. <laughs> And I'm very sure she was not Mr. P. I'm sure it was those R and B singers from the yes, back. Yes, man. What did he say? Well, Karen go. White. I haven't tweeted the whole day, so I'll see that. I'll see that. I'm sure Boom. Tony so, Braxton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm. so he's like, I enjoyed every moment. I would have been stuck in the house masturbating to those aerobics ladies on 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 the very mark adverts. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the chicks from Dong Song, Cisco Song. You added value to my childhood, bro. <laughs> So I'm like, this is on Twitter. So I respond. I'm like, damn, bro. I didn't know you did that. I'm glad I saved you from uh, from that by forcing you to play cricket. Better one red ball in your hand than two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show the trade, yeah? Show Drop the trade. So he saw us when he posted him. He came along as well. So from Ndaweni, Ngulego came with the car. He's by himself. So we to fight with him, you know, from there. Then from there, it's like, don't worry, I'll drop everyone off, you know. Then everybody dropped me off. They first started with me, went to my place. Friend went up to me, to my house, and he tucked me in at 7 o'clock. A.M. <laughs> yeah. A.M. Wow. I'm gone. And I was out. I haven't still called everyone to check everyone's good and stuff. I got a call from Gulego now. Mm. Uh, but yeah, man. And one of my friends was like, damn, dog, Gulego was surprised that you've got like, Friends like proper, true like friends mm. from childhood. Because mm. obviously, you think you're chilling with soft from podcast mm. and chill. Mm. There's gonna be mm. slay queens around mm. the table, mm. vibe, fucking mm. makale in the culture, mm. and all these things. And we he was like, user. "Fuck," you know. And my friends could tell. I couldn't. Like, you could tell, like, you know, these are your friends, friends. So yeah. let's get to the point where I'm calling you and your wife is answering. Fuck, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Because hey. we tried, so. Hi, I come we, on, imagine. Hey. <laughs> for real. And I'm so glad she didn't, she woke me up. I think you were calling for maybe not the second time or whatever. I no, I, I called once because uh, we got you at two. So this is the whole crew. Mm. We got you at two and you had three. 
And then I got you at like... And I miss Vota Kellum. Yeah. Uh, yes. Dudu called me yesterday on some, should we have Vota? What do you mean should we have Vota Kellum? And a fucking multiple Grammy Award winner. Yeah, this, yeah I, I will touch a Grammy. Uh, yeah, fuck, yeah. So you missed out. Bro, you missed out because now nah, I don't know the fucking... This yes, fucking, yes, and that's the... I'm all I could talk about is thinking Grammy. about it. Uh, all I could Grammy talk about is Grammy. Grammy and... Hey, Grammy and... <laughs> can someone suck this? Can they put it in their mouth? At some point... Does it Mac was list, making him He's listen to his music. Jobs. Was like, does this deserve, how do we make this a Grammy oh, Award winning composer? Vota Kellerman, bro. Great guy, great guy. Oh, the great music guy. is amazing. Bro. Great guy, but I think if you were there, it would have, the, the context would have been, yeah, would have been so better. amazing. Because oh, I was just bro. focused on the Grammy. I love music, world music. You know, if you listen to my, my, my go to check out my album. Exactly. Uh, my first, first album, Soap and Duga, self titled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you you really I was anticipating like, and listen you to the music throughout there. the interview. From the tribal house, like, oh, and the, the piano, the 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 tribal house in the music these days mm. is you can hear a tribal house didn't die. Yeah. I think I posted that as something. So we call you at four. A woman answers. Ten past four. Ten past four. In the hour. Kiki. What's going on at that time when we call you? I'm waking up. Yeah. I see time. I'm like, four. Is it four thirty in the morning? Why is the sun out? <laughs> hey. I'm like, hey. Hey. I was, I was fucking my Khaled. Oh, man. Zero. How you? Oh, come on. You know, we you just drunk. How you? Yeah. Oh, we don't use. You know, we don't do drugs. This podcast, what beautiful thing is that people, you know, here... <laughs> I smoke weed. I smoke weed. I have weed. Oh. <laughs> I did smoke weed, I did. Oh. No, I smoke weed, I won't lie. Oh, oh no. I smoke weed. Not smoke in the chat, kids. No, no. It's from, shout out to Harold, man. Uh, um, oh. <laughs> he supplies Angelic. Oh. He supplies in, supplies Angelic as well. <laughs> supplies proper. Yeah, when, when, a lot of when the dealer has so. got a shop, when the dealer has got a shop in Rosebank, uh, you know. Oh yeah, and there's a, there's people in Rosebank that sell uh, 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 um, edibles. Yeah. They wanna like partner with me and stuff, you know, because oh, I, yeah. I buy their stuff just quietly. Buy it. these are pre rolled. Yeah. Oh yeah, smoke. The guys here smoke. Bezisha, Bezisha boy. Come, 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 take it. Come, come, vela. Gang, gang, gang. Dal fumuk vela, vela, vela tap. Vela, gang, 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 vela boy. And they know they love my weed because I always like give them quality weed, yeah. proper weed. Now you tell me twenty rand, I want good. So fuck weed, it up. And we yeah. got, we got, we got tabang, tabang, shots, shots by tabang. He smokes weed. No, no, no. He was a part of the podcast. Like when we started. I know, ta- you know. I know tabang. Yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you the story about tabang? tabang? I know tabang. tabang. Did I tell you the story about tabang? Uh, but do you know the story of tabang. Huh? So we started with Tabang, right? Hey. I can remember from... You know you haven't even opened the show. You haven't greeted. Oh! Hey! hey. 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 Drop it. What time is this What time is this Like hey. fucking 40. Huh? Uh, Soul is here. Black Studios is here. They're Tabang smoking weed. Is here. Tabang is here. Shout out, man. Kanye is here. Ghost Lady. Uh, Fed Checkers is here. Uh, 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 here. Ah, Spew, I'm a blowjob is here. Spew, I'm a blowjob. <laughs> so, 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 so this is me, bro. Let me yeah. tell you the story. So this is me, right? Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Me and Tabang, we've been working for two years. Mm. Right? We've been working for two years. No money at mm. all. Broke, 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 broke. First check we got was a client of us. They give us 90k. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to everybody. We we're still at Kanye's house. Yeah. We're chilling there by the pool and whatever. I'm like, guys, we've got 90k. How do we split this? Hey. <laughs> hey. This mind you, there's four of us. Everybody's like four ways. We split the 90k four ways. Four ways in Centurion. Four ways in Centurion. Anyway. And then, Len, out of somewhere, so we all agree. We're like, ah, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. Len, out of somewhere, is like, no, but I've been here the longest. <laughs> so 60k to Len. Bro, the fact that you're already saying, how do we split it? <laughs> And then he's got the gumption to say, ah, oh, yeah. 
I, yeah, before you even thought about this podcast, you know that, right? I knew you were going to come to me and tell me about the idea. I've been here, motherfucker. And then, and then Tabo, because Tabo was the last person to get uh, improved. Yeah, yeah, last Tabang, in. Yeah. yeah, last in. Yeah. He's like, nah. Tabang or Tabo? Tabang. 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 Okay, okay. okay. He's like, nah, nah, bro. That ain't fair, bro. It's my fucking cameras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was shooting with an iPad before yay, I came, right? <laughs> and you see, when you start doing that, everybody then will say, no, but I do. But I, but I. Hey. So I came in, I'm like, this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the landlord here. Yeah. You were David Mashavela before David hey, Mashavela, right? Hey. <laughs> and you would have allowed blowjobs, That's right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have complained about it. <laughs> well, it's the outside. Outside, it's, it's, God's, it's God's place. <laughs> So that, that that's when I realized we don't disclose. <laughs> How no, much? it depends who you're disclosing to no, and I, why. And for me, I just felt like, dog, we've been working for two years, guys. Yeah, nothing like, has this come is through. Let's just enjoy and break bread and break bread, bro. That's it. that's how it is. And, and then never said that. I've been <laughs> and never lose that. Yeah, bro. Everybody, like, if you start doing that, nitpicking and. And this is my contribution. Everybody's got a major contribution. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that is integral in 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 in, in like like re integral. And, and it's you, valuable. You can't and argue you, with perception also. And you can't argue with perception, and he yeah. was right. But the fact that you could have just said, hey guys, we just made 50k. And and how do we split it? And kept the 40k. You see how you can lie? You, you know what I mean? You, you could have just been said, yeah. Yeah, like, yo, we just made 50K. 50K. Yeah, I, I should have said 90. The, the I should have said, yeah. 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 You see? Yeah. Now I learned from that. But I'm not a You learn. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you learn. 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 You You for real? We had a meeting. And you were just doing something novel, though. Like, Tabang is the one who fucked it up. I mean, Tabang, if he had said yes. No, Len fucked it up, <laughs> man. Oh, what do you mean, Tabang fucked it up? He was like, oh, we're going to do that? Then I'm, I'm I'm bringing something up to the table. Now now, now you count to who's bringing what to the table. Give and you know, it, must, it must never get there. Tabang. And I love Len, you know, What's, but what, like... What, 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 what <laughs> point of view fun. were you coming from? What were you saying at that day? No, man, it's it's, it's literally what, what, what Sol is saying, right? Like, oh, I'm like, oh, Len, okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Len, okay. Like, if, if that's the case, I also mean, these are my cameras, chief. Oh, yeah, let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you know what was crazy? So like, we, did, we, did, we, we did an episode with... You see, uh, and you can't do the podcast without the, 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 the venue. Can't do the podcast without the quality of the cameras. Yeah. Then he's going to say, I, I, it's my mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> You can't do the podcast without the mouth. Though. So then you can't do the podcast without everyone. Because everyone plays a really big role, regardless of whatever. He had been here for maybe the, the, the shortest time, but the camera has elevated everything yeah. as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. So here we are. We do a beautiful episode, bro. Mm. We've got um, AKA's manager, Tiamo. Tiamo. Shut We've up. got Narena Kai's manager. Who was it? What's the girl's name? Oh, your name, name. We've got her, right? We've got Nota, Questa's manager. Yes, yes. So we're doing a manager uh, thing. A ma oh, a manager. Yeah. Uh. Broke as fuck. Podcast is not making money. So Narina Kai's manager says, let's go drink. Close we have on a good take one meal. It's dry. She goes, she goes, to, she's like, let's go drink next door. It's just me and shots, bro. Bro, I promise you, they were ordering things and things and things. And I had to tell you, hey, sorry, man, I only have 50 bucks in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 we're good, the boy. <laughs> Those were the times when you stop by a petrol station and you put wow, your car That time I had to drop off Tabang and he's in the West Rand. Yeah. Wow. What happened that talk? I think I dropped you off and you had to Uber, you had to find a way, ne? <laughs> Nah, I sent you, I think I sent you like 100 bucks and then, and then, and then you, you, you dropped me. You sent your boss money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you sent MacGyver money. Oh, MacGyver. Wow, bro. Bro, crazy. These are beautiful stories though. Like for no, real, When for I real. see him, it reminds me of dog. It was tough when we started, bro. Yeah. Damn, bro. It was tough. It was just me and him. Like, yeah. he knows. He knows. He knows, yeah, shout bro. out to you, man. Love you long time. Tom. He Two knows, level, bro. Yeah. And now and employees are getting no jobs for free. Hey. <laughs> And, and I, we must invoice he, you. Fuck you, man. And the, and the, Suck invoice on us, P. We're getting projects for free, boy. 
And now people are thinking, Kanye, I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> they're thinking Wandy remained and gave everybody blowjobs. Uh, hey, actually, yo. Yo. But now I was when I saw it, I'm like, no. Hi, bro. I'm like, hi, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, it was fucking inking in. Now it's pure, man. They're thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hi. Because obviously when someone sells th that service, mm. it's like, well, why didn't you order them? You know what I mean? Like, like it's so they thought it's everybody gets a yeah she's blow Oprah job. with the blowjobs I'm like nah nah, oh, nah nah no. nah nah you know and from that to this it's beautiful bro bro what's happening at Kai bro what's going on with Janelle oh, what's oh, going on I spoke bro. to her for the are you okay so can, can I get can ice, I tell please? you something right can I get okay. ice please can I tell you something yes, when please. I was driving here you knew we were going to talk about then, it no 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 I realized that. Last night, I needed, and I realized that I may have. It, it was not obvious that I've had a fucked up week. Let me go out and blow off some steam. But it was that. Then I'm like, actually, it was that. Because mm. obviously, you know, um, if you hear and you see someone you work with, and I me, mean, I'm a feeler, man. You know, I, 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 I'm very empathetic. I feel for people. Like I feel like if someone is not okay or going through the the most it affects me if when i I'm, I'm aware of it so when i saw that obviously i'm like damn man you know and uh give context to people that you know we have oh yeah 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 shit. so so uh the now or don't um, listen to kai not everybody listens to kai uh, <laughs> no no not okay. everybody no you're right it's not, not a joke not a lot of people. well not everybody watches this podcast <laughs> laugh about that thing jesus <laughs> like, why is it a joke? It's like, yeah, not everybody listens to Kaya. Otherwise, nobody be, listens. There'd be one, nah, a lot of people listen, trust me. There'd be I one wish they didn't, yeah. radio station. You wish they didn't? Hey, sometimes. Oh, the problem. Oh, God. But anyway, continue. So. Wait, wait, wait. Hey! Wait. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. You wish people what didn't. What do you mean? No, not the. No, I'm talking about the podcast. How do you I'm think you get paid? Kaya. How do you think you no, get no, paid? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. But hey, after the problems, after we, hey, you know, when you have to answer for blowjobs, like, how, hey, things that you did not benefit from. Uh, have people Come on. been going to you? And you, ghost lady, bear in mind, you don't exactly. even show. Exactly. Have people been questioning you? Imagine. What did Naga say about the blowjob? <laughs> like, hey, baby, I'm your phone. I you <laughs> You know, no ways. Bro, I understand what you're saying. Where yeah. does that comment come from? Wholeheartedly. Yeah, I'm very like. Yeah. No, no, because of you know when you get question about the because at the end of the day, guys, it's it's, it's sometimes you question about the blood job, you feel like this is just nonsense. Come on, guys, just let it rest. It is what it is. Move on. Okay. So why would you say you don't want people to listen? No, I'm just saying to specifically the part of the blowjob and the, 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 that makes... They can always skip, you know? Exactly. That's so what I always That's say. why as soon as you skip. come to me, you're like, oh, I listened to that thing. Why did you... Exactly. Like, hey, man, you could have skipped, you know? Exactly. It's not like... I'm like... It's not like it was live. I'm like, okay. Thank you. <laughs> you... You listened to the entire And you call, sat there. And now you're coming to me. Me. <laughs> and you're complaining. But you listened to the entire blow job. Every second, second of, it, of it. The choking of That's, it. The maybe gagging, you enjoyed it. The, uh, Thank you. Of it. Everything. It's pure. It's like. <laughs> like <laughs> it has no, I agree with me, you. So. When, when me yeah. and Tabang started, my man. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? There was nothing. <laughs> nothing. Let's <laughs> try, Baba. Anyway, so <laughs> now you send it no, one point no, five. I, I five agree with so what you saw said. Yeah. yeah, that's the same thing. Where it's like, why would you complain about something that you could have skipped? Something that you could not, you could just easily. No, skip. And then they go, kids oh, our kids. Our, no, I'm like, but nigga, your kid probably has a subscription to Pornhub. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, and you don't even if your know. kids are exactly, then if like, you can tell you what your kids ask or the, what they're no, inquisitive but about. Like, someone this, asked me. This, this started with you saying, "I wish people didn't listen." No, 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 no. In, I, in I, terms I, of I, children, uh -huh. no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking. <laughs> Hi. Okay. 
<laughs> how am I going to pay you for your two for your two helpers <laughs> if people are not listening <laughs> they have got no helpers just hey man they not mean to tell them I mean to tell you and control I mean to tell you you could say I didn't mention when I saw I well no come on you know what we are decide. No, no, I'm just saying it's people who come and complain about something that you can easily just skip. Don't listen to. You've yeah. got a choice, guys. Someone asked me. You can't sit through something that disgusts you or you're not happy with. That's when you're cho- you, your own personal I decision love- must just automatically say, oh, okay, this is not my content. Tato, who produces for uh Tibos on, on, on Kaya, amazing mm-hmm. producer, shout out to her. Church Tibos man, Solka Plata. Oh, so she was. She's a huge chiller, you know. A lot of people in the building are chillers, at Kaya, and she was like, um, ah, "Guys, it was an amazing show, but why did you do the blowjob? You know, I just skipped through it, and that's it. Thank that's you. it. Like, just skip it. I appreciate. You know, you be like, uh, not my. I'm not not my cup of tea. I'm Thank not you. here for her cup of tea. <laughs> what I did Not my cup of tea. I'm not here for her. Skip it and fine. You know what I mean? Because. Everybody also misses the, the the whole point of the interview and what it portrayed. Everybody will be like, how can you ask a chick like that what a, a message for the girls? But they missed the message that she, she had said. She went to Brown for school, got introduced to a Nigerian. Hey! Hey! This is Octola, that show. Yo, you've seen it? Yeah, hmm? Piana. Yes, so we'll talk about it. So when I said Nigerian, I'm like, damn, man, fucking hell. So she got introduced to one Nigerian. She was going to school. And Whoa, what didn't... just happened? <laughs> She's a toddler at the show. You don't know it. Uh, yes. The drug you dealers one. Yeah, Wait. well, they passed oh, drug dealers on TV. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's wild. wild. You wanted to get the guy. The oh, guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting death threats. And you can imagine, because let's be honest, man. He He's doing an... They're doing amazing work. He's cleaning the community. Yeah, they're doing amazing work. And oh. I get goosebumps when he says, we got a call from... We need the drugs. From the, yes. We got a call from the men in this neighborhood. Abu Baba, about this idea, and get up and defend their community. Mm. Like, fuck. Mm. You know what I mean? Because everybody could just go on with their life. Like, oh, okay. Whatever, and you realize how much it destroys lives, and they busting the small guys. But let's be honest, right? The face of the Nyawupe drug dealing, it's half of those niggas are failed pops, they live in small places. It's like they live in it's back a rooms, billion dollar industry, but they but the in guys back on rooms. the ground selling the stuff are not making that much. Yeah, and do you and 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 and, and on the other side of the coin, those guys. Living in the ba- in back rooms, they found another one hiding in the bed. Like yeah. I don't know how to did to that bed, but it's like he's in the base of the bed. You know the base can be hollow. You know, it's uh, yeah, yeah. So getting a pants. It reminds yeah. me of and when I started the, the podcast with Tom. <laughs> 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 Not even when keep on my mic, I'm seeing bed. The other one, un un Indi, I'm seeing bed. And you're looking at these people. Wait, no, no. So who's that? A drug dealer. And how did the uh, Masimba I happen? do not know. So, <laughs> 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 Okay, let's go to the next one. Back to Dineo. Yes, Dineo. Wait, man, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> now, what, we'll get there. But now I, I want to finish this trailer thought. So, what we see on the street is these guys... Are you talking 30? about the nail? No, no, I'm talking about uh, so, uh, um, right, we'll, we'll go right. back to the nail situation. Mara, high up, the people about saying you read more, you go Instagram. So when you see the people on Zoktola, they are serious people who have clean, soft looking lives, politically connected. Politicians. Businessmen. And I, I don't have the for the facts, yeah. but people really high up in the country who benefit from these things. 100%. Yeah. And th- those are the guys we need to find. And those are the people now because he is getting threats. 
That's um, why the he's host of because he's Tyler. fucking people's business. He's well. fucking with their bread, like mm. serious. We're talking about serious bread. Mm. You know what I mean? So that guy should be protected at all costs, and, uh, and we should bring him. Like we should bring the, him on the podcast. He looks like the guy that does uh, the one who possesses cars. They look the same, right? And I think they both from Are a they bouncer. Not the same person? No, no. It's not. Are you serious? Yeah. That guy's not. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hi, so at Kaya, so at Kaya, we're chilling. We we're having a meeting with the MD, a Colleen, right? With the director, like the big, big boss at the top in her office. We're just talking about the show. This is like a few months ago. So he was coming, I think, to Tibo's show for an interview. He storms in the the, the office. Hey, son, yo, what love for you, son? Hey, Colleen's like, hey, which guy is this? The repossessing guy. Repossessing guy, guy. yeah. Not the Zoktola guy. No, 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 no. He's, he's like, yeah! I'm like, what's going on? You know? I'm like... Hmm? Oh, you thought your car was being repossessed? Never. Ah, oh, never. It's like we're off, and I'm charged when I'm on. off. That's <laughs> off. I off, man. It's like we're yeah, off, man. Our yeah, cars are being repossessed. <laughs> you wish no one watched the podcast. Ish, I'm a full of resign, man. How? Resign, I got you, man. God, man. We'll fact check with me, Lindy. We'll full of vera. I'm not going to full of vera. Ish, man. No, but that's the worst. Ghost lady, you have to hide. Nah, because so I didn't know. Isn't it crazy? You haven't had a Effect to check, <laughs> <laughs> and that's beautiful, right? That's yeah, the yeah. real podcast. That's, a good, that's the that's magic a, of the podcast. No facts. You are redundant today. <laughs> when she invoices minus one day, you know, like, hey, one minus one day, you did not one show. You were not there. You are not needed there. It you reminds know. me of when I started the podcast with Tabang. Send the money to Tabang. <laughs> The one day, today's uh, her salary, can her can salary, can her, her for income today. for today. Send it to yeah. <laughs> he came with the content. He produced the show as well. You know, uh, so I didn't know who he was uh, speaking on you. So I'm not thinking he's going to repossess anything of mine. Oh. I, I've got nothing. I, I don't owe anyone. I've got nothing that should be repossessed, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm like, who the hell is this guy? I see he's a fan. He's excited. But he was a, it was genuine excitement. Mm. And... That's what you get on the show. He doesn't give a fuck who you are, mm. what you do for a living. He mm. will approach you. And yo. you had that spirit, you know, like just, yo, bro, love your work, whatever. I see you in this building, these mm -hmm. people. So also him, shout out, man. We should have him because he does want to come through as well. Dineo, yes. Back to Dineo, man. Uh, speaking of Kaya building. Yeah, man. So, um, she, she, she. Because you're co-host. We are, we are co-host. We are good. You know, she's become... Like, you know, we like it's like that when you work with people, right? Like everybody here is family. She's become family. And because uh, we didn't like know what was going on and uh, she's getting the right uh, 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 help and care. She's good and she's recovering, you know? So were you preview of... No. Before the tweets? No. I, I, I'm preview of some of the stuff she's going through, you know, in, in, in her life. You know what I mean? We should talk about it. Which she will talk about, you know, because it's her life at the end of the day. And when someone tells you, I don't know if she's spoken about it publicly, but we know she went through, you know, a divorce and stuff. And she's dealing with stuff, uh, that and other things, you know what I mean, that I'm privy to. Um, and I just didn't know that, you know, when someone tells you something, mm. you'll never know how far deep it affects a person and how far it reach. Do you think it reaches it's, um, within a person? Do you think it's creative freedom in terms of you've got an outlet. Mm -hmm. You've got Kaya, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. And Kaya, you can do what you do. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Safe. Boom, boom, boom. It's radio, yeah. It's radio, right? And then you've got the podcast where you can just creatively be yourself. So do you think her not having that avenue played a part into... Oh, that's depression? a good question. I, I don't know, bro, to be honest. Um, because remember, for me, funny enough, when I came today, you know, woke up late. And when I came today, the guy's like, are you okay, bro? You know, uh, the one, uh, David Machiavelli's niece, oh. nephew, who, was, who, who handles the studio downstairs, his studio. And I was like, yeah, actually, I'm good. And I'm here 
the podcast is my therapy. Mm. I was like, ah, I'm very good. Because mm. he was like, damn, bro, are you going to be able to do the show? Because you know? mm. I was like, dude, I don't know if I'm hanging, mm. but I'm still drunk. Mm. Mm. But it was, uh, but I was like, I'm glad I'm here. It's my mm. safe, mm. it's my moment of, 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 of quietness. And, and, and not peace. a lot of uh, creatives have that outlet. Yeah, mm. so, so I don't know if she has or doesn't because it doesn't need to be an outlet that is publicly uh, known or publicly recognized. So maybe she does have a group of friends. Maybe she does have all those things. So I don't know. Uh, 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 um, and if she doesn't, she can obviously create it and everyone should. It Sometimes it's that day with your friends a week, once a week. Did sometimes she come to you and say, um, I'm depressed? No. But when she's I saw never, it, she's never, and, and that's the thing. Uh, these things don't have a face, you know what I mean? Mm. These, these, these. How do things. you advise someone when you hear all of this? Someone who's so close to you and you see this outpouring, and um, how do you advise When I spoke to what, her, how, I said, how did you advise her? When I spoke to her, I said, she has passed a moment that a lot of people don't and a lot of people becomes the final moments you know what I mean Rick so Rick, those were your words WHP, of encouragement Rick yeah. Rick WHP and so many unknown faces that have taken their lives mm. you know the fact that she's lived through that that's one massive mountain that she's uh, uh, climbed and conquered you mm. know um, it can only be a recovery from from here and knowing and being aware of you know what, what you, you you are dealing with so you can't really advise someone when you've never been through it. But to me, I was like, you're still here. So that matters. That means something. That means you've overcame the biggest hurdle. Because for my thing, bro, it's... Um, uh, uh, um, I, I've known Dineo for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You guys are friends. You, you know, we're friends, right? But from the last time, I haven't spoken to her in months, right? But from the last time I spoke to her... Why do you have this? Uh, of, we had the uh, Caesar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, also, uh, Uzo Caesar. Okay, all right. That's strange. Keep it, dog. We had uh, we had a Grammy, dog. We had a Grammy. You were not here. We had a Grammy too. We had two Grammys, my dog. Hey, bro. So it was a, a historical moment. You will see at the end of the show. Yeah. Yeah. But what I was saying is that um, shit. What, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot, man. Shit, I'm so, sorry. Oh, so, so I'm I, saying, Uri. Um, trailer thought. Yes, I'm saying I've known Dineo for a long time. Yes, yes. Right? Last time I spoke to her, nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is her working on Kaya. Because I haven't spoken to her since she's been working When you say Kaya. nothing has changed, what? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm I saying, think he's getting there. I'm saying like <laughs> gigs, uh, business-wise, family, Nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is her working at Kai. No, no, you know what I'm asking? It's saying what, what, when you say nothing has changed, as in it's not been good, nothing has changed, or everything has been good, nothing has changed. But that's what I'm getting. If you listen. Are you getting there? Like, <laughs> I said this down no, now. Like, he's getting there. I'm getting there, right? So. No, well, we've been waiting for you for four hours. You remember? Ah, my, my patience. Got, my patience. And I got here. I'm, and I got here. So I'm he's getting out there. Right now. So I'm sorry like that my patience is just at so. It's waning thin. Yeah. Okay. So, fair enough. Fair so, enough. So, so, so when I see where she's at right now, I feel like, okay, she's got the Kaya thing. Boom. But Danelle is creative, bro. Like, she needs she's freedom. Doing art. She's like, she doesn't like to be confined and, and be told what to do. Like, it frustrates her. And I'm just, I don't know. She's a super creative, bro. You she's doing art over at her house the other day. The art she's making. You understand? It's incredible. Bro. That's why we even started that podcast with her. I'm like, oh, Danelle, please start this podcast so you can be creatively but and please, outlets this to is express where I'm gonna go your to creativity. Mag, and Because creativity is spiritual. You know that. Yeah. True. It's not something you can keep bottled up. You need an outlet. It needs to come out in one, one way or the other. And it's coming out with her art. 100%. I was at, at, I was at Prime Media for six years. Mm. Doing the best, amazing radio. They've never heard radio like that. <laughs> and you and, and you were frustrated, but I was though. Frustrated. And you're a good, you're an incredible broadcaster. I was Because you were doing a template, template yes. radio. Time, boom, 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 time stamp, Q, 
queues, bank accounts, station ID, competition. Okay, Mac, how did you sports, overcome your depression there? How did you overcome? Started the podcast with tobacco. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fana, you're gonna get a big fat one. You're gonna. Yeah. Man, the boy. Ah, young guy, and today, young guy, and a boy, young guy, and a boy. Don't ask people how you must split it if family or. With that always. said, about Ineo though, here was um so maybe like as you say that you provided the play- platform of saying okay. Go through, you know, explore your creativity, you know, do your podcast. But maybe she didn't follow through with that, you know. Is that maybe that now? Is that is that she's maybe in this position because of she never followed through and just literally exercised that freedom of just expressing herself, right? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm saying, Uri, from my perspective, mm. so has got his own perspective because he works with her every day. Okay. From my perspective, I haven't spoken to her since last year. Yeah. Right? But I know the kind of individual she is. And I'm saying, Uri, if 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 you don't want to find your place where you're depressed and uh, uh, Explore suicidal, your options, yeah. you need a balance. Yeah. Right. And that's what Saul has. Mm. Like, when he goes to Kaya, he does PR boom, boom, boom stuff. He's con- yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? But the, the podcast is his outlet. Yeah, yeah. You know? But if he didn't have it, he'd probably be frustrated. Yeah. But I love being on radio, you know? I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, you need a balance, though. Fair enough. Because the stuff that you can say and do on radio that you... You, you can't say yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, things I can't. But with all honesty, though, there are many people on radio who are happy with it, and they don't need and that's the outlet. All they do. No, they, they don't do. need the outlets. They, 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 you see, oh, like the I said, the outlets. outlet doesn't need to be a professional platform where yeah. you're making money from it. It could be a group of friends. It could, it could be could hanging be out with your family or your kids. Gymming. It could be gymming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I know Tibo's gyms like at five. He's in the gym or six in the morning. He's in the gym, and he's there uh, at Kaya two hours before his show at seven. So he's got the gym and that because his schedule is hectic. DJs everywhere. One of the most booked guys. If you around, if you just had always on the radio. If you just had Kaya, would you be happy as a creative? We're not talking about sold the brand. Just only. Yeah, just only. I don't know, but maybe not. I don't think so. But, I mean, to, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be on the radio. Of course, mm, of course, mm. of course. But remember, I've been on just YFM and I was happy. I've been on just 5FM and I was happy. There was no podcasting then. Didn't even gym. Now I gym. <laughs> you know, and I'm happy. Yeah, we can see it. Mm. 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 Ah, nice. mm. Hey, so. Yeah. Ooh, call, you're looking like call. Naka. Hey, we need to call some winners I for like, the... Uh, Sun Bed Arena event, yeah? Remember last week we were giving away three months fiber. And the guy was asking, when are we giving away the jacket? So the now we've got, yeah, remember we're going to give away the jacket. Oh, like this one? Not fine, hey. So he's going to do another one? For a chiller, yeah. For a chiller. Yeah, but yeah. you said oh, you're going to do that, so. Dope, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Hey, I got to do my bone with you more. So, hey. <sighs> Beautiful jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, son. <laughs> Beautiful jeans. Hey. What would you say to Shame your younger man, self, by the way? Good at neck braces. <laughs> okay, I like... <laughs> Shame. How are you, such a serious... We could not have to approach you, but we don't have to We could not you, okay. you got it with. So what? What, what do we, I, I'm curious. So, so, <laughs> so. Yeah. What were you gonna tell to your younger self? Since you posted about it, what were you gonna tell your younger self? Oh, hey, you produce the show, I'm kind of cool about it. It's a produce question. This one. Yo, man. No more stuff. No, oh yeah, that's a good way. Yeah, okay. Let me get no man, I'm kidding. A lot of things, man. Like you know, be easy on yourself, uh, forgive yourself, and don't doubt yourself. You know, because I I have a lot of self doubt. Uh, so as much as I'm confident and all on the uh, podcast and all, I deal with a lot of internal. So so. Yak pendula man, yak piggy sa. Yak piggy sa, because that's a that's a, that's what we will say to ourselves. I've That's, got a lot of self doubt. It's like a generic like I'm going to tell them you the shit. No, no, no. Know it. It's a generic and answer that we will give. I'm saying specifically, what is it that you go, listen, this is what you're going to, these are the kind of hurdles, this is how you overcome them. 
you know, but I have, be specific. You see, the beauty, the beautiful like thing is, love yourself. The beautiful thing is, I, can, I, 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 can, I can't tell him, I can't tell him, I can't tell him you're going to go through challenges. This is how you overcome them. Yeah, but because I went through challenges and I overcame them. But what I'm saying is, I went through challenges and I overcame them. Yeah. So I'm not going to say to him, do what you're going to do. Because who, who are we talking about? His younger son. Um, 10 year old Saul. Mm. Mm. So I can't say to him, do what you, you will do. No, like you're gonna do the right not. thing. Cause remember, I went through challenges and I yeah. overcame them. And I can't tell them also to avoid these challenges, i.e., avoid gambling. Mm-hmm. Life would be nice, but through making that big mistake taught me so much and it brought so much joy. Let's go. Let's had go. I not hey, so let's go. Example. Let's go. No, wait, let's go. wait, wait. Example. We've got a winner that we need to announce too. <laughs> wait. Yes, the, the winner answered. I'm gonna say yes, something answered. beautiful. I'm gonna say something yeah, beautiful. But can you do it after the winner? Yeah, but okay. the, uh, there's the winner answered. Yes. The call. How are you? Hey, hey, Pule. Oh. Oh, we hey, hey, oh he's on. Hey, Pule. Yeah, yeah, we live from podcast and chill, my dog. Hi, Pule. Hey, Pule. Hey, Pule! Hey! Hey, Pule! Hey! Hey, hey. hey Pule, tell me, what do you think Saul would I ask his 10, year, his 10 year old self? Yeah? What do you think Saul would ask his 10 year old self? Yes. What do you think? Uh, do you think you would have been good in English in class when you grow up? I hmm? don't know. Hmm? I'm good in English. Can you hear me? We can hear you, but you're not making sense. No, he's, uh, he was going to ask, I, do you think, I think he said, do you think you're going to be this good in English? <laughs> he on the side. <laughs> well, he will cool. be getting the education for it, so it's guaranteed. Yeah. It's not guaranteed, because not everyone who went to school with me speaks as well. Oh. So that's the thing. Well, what are no, you saying? What they you speak saying? well, but not... We can you speak on the mic. Pule, can you? Are you are you on loudspeaker? Savannah City, I'm from the South. Savannah City. Savannah City. Savannah City, shout out. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Yeah, from, from Hockerville, just not far from Hockerville, yeah. And you're coming to wow. Sun Bet Arena on the 30th Savannah. of July. Definitely, I'll be there. If I bought the tickets and everything, nice. accommodation sorted, I'll let. Congratulations, Ooh. you've won yourself Granger on tap! Yeah, Granger yeah. on tap, Pupu, <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, I'm more, show a flow, Pierre. I'm not going to do it all, I'm going to do it all, I'm going to do it all. Nice. Nice, bro. Enjoy. Have the time of your life. Can't wait to meet you and see you. Mara. I met you already, Saul. I met you already, bro. Hey, my long time. Hey, Where nice. did you meet me, bro? I met you in uh, Rosebeck. At the garage this other time. When we, I remember our conversation was the Kualisa now. But I guess you get a lot of that. Mm. <laughs> what, what was the conversation? That was the conversation. The conversation was... Uh, uh, um, oh, are we going to fill up? Time I, re- I think I remember you. So, Kalisa now. Mm. Yes. Hey, literally, hey, I saw when, you. When, 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 did you start being a, when did you start being a chiller, Pule? Yeah. I've been a chiller all the time. I think it was late last year. Mm. Okay. Uh, do you know who I started the podcast with? No. Pule. Oh, we're telling the good lady. Oh, hey, shout out to you, man. We'll see you at uh, uh, next Arena. Yeah. San yeah. Arena, ne? yeah. Oh, so what's the procedure there? Yeah, I get there, everything is sorted out or winter. No, don't worry, our team will contact you. We've got a team now, boys. Don't worry, we've got people you know who handle the paperwork. <laughs> we'll call you, we've got an office. That's the shit! 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 That's the shit. Yes. Yeah, Janelle, you were saying. Uh, oh, not, you're done with No, it's not the name we were talking about. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was saying. 10 year old self. I was saying, I can't tell my 10 year old self. Yes, yes. Don't do X and Y, right? Because, okay, there's certain things I can, but there's certain things that brought about a, 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 a sequence of events that led me here. 
if I didn't fall off, had a gambling problem, left radio. Yeah, bro. How did I, you I, get my man, I was never going to be on this on, on this podcast because I was I was going to move. Huh? How did you get a gambling problem? How does that even start, bro? Oh, I just started, like I said, I've told the story before. Just started like covering uh, Umgani to uh, uh, these uh, betting houses, and I was like, "Oh, you can do that and win." Oh, let me try it out. But then, because I'm so competitive and I hate losing, you lose and you're like, "Fuck no, I'm smarter than this. I can't fucking lose. I need my money back." Right? How smart do you think you are? I'm not super smart, but <laughs> you only have to <laughs> actually, I don't know this story. I didn't know about you, that you actually I've, got I've, into it I've told, by a I've, friend. No, 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 no. Let me. I didn't get to it by a friend. I got into it on my own, in Kini, without him being aware that Jesus, this guy is, he's sinking in this hole. Yeah, well, he found out later, and he was like, "Fuck, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is going on?" And you now we were what swim, one game, what what Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be on this podcast. I would have a successful radio career and Mac would have seen me on Facebook and he wasn't going to ask himself, what happened to Saul? Mm. He's so funny on Facebook. Maybe I must have him on the podcast uh, as a guest. Does that mean that So I would be uh, Mac and I wouldn't even be close. The last if I, if that didn't happen to me, if I didn't then move out and go to Hillbro and start afresh and everything falls apart, I wouldn't have met certain people that are an integral part. I mean, I met my woman in Hillbro. You know what I mean? Mm. I, Mac reached out to me because he was like, oh, so it's not on the radio. Uh, he didn't know that I'm going to be on the podcast, but he was like, let's have him as a guest. So are you He saying- wouldn't even have had me as a guest. Wait and if so. he did... Being on the podcast wasn't even going to be an option. So yeah, because would he you found say, me not doing much. Yeah, you're, you're if you friend had, of the show, friend of the show. Yes. If you had an opportunity, maybe I was going to be a friend of the show with another co-host because Len had left, but you were going to find someone eventually. Mm. So I can't tell my younger self don't do X because mm. had I not done X, mm. I wasn't going to meet certain people in Hill, bro. You weren't going to call me. No. But the thing so is, so you you you're, must be careful about. Don't do X, don't do Y. There are the reasons why you met him, Naga. Mm-hmm. You're from KZN, right? Yeah. If you didn't come to Joburg for whatever you came to Joburg for... To be a real housewife in St. Joburg. Yes, you wouldn't have met him, Naga. So Wait, there's certain 12, things you, you can't 12 block. years old, I had ambitions to be a real housewife. No. What were your ambitions? What what you ambitions? Were, no, yeah, no, no, no. It was a family. My father was working this side in Pretoria. So it was just a family move. It, it was the thing of my mom takes told us... Dad has said we're moving to Pretoria. But so where, where did you meet Naga? And obviously, the sad. Church. Yeah. Yeah. And you went to church because maybe you wanted to redeem yourself. <laughs> no, that's you were, nothing. You were angry at your actions nope. and your lifestyle. Nope. But I'm just making an example. It was just a family But had you not gone through that, you weren't going to find yourself in a particular church. True. Yeah. So there's certain things you must be careful to say. Tell you because those things, as much as they may seem like a burden or or, or, or or horrible times in your life, they bring about life-changing moments. And so for me on the podcast was a life-changing moment. Because number one, I wouldn't be on Kaya if I wasn't I wasn't on the podcast. I'd be just forgotten. So had I not gone through that phase. With that problem, I wouldn't be here today. There's a bigger picture. So you can't tell yourself, don't go through this. Hold on. I'll just be on the radio. I get that. I get what you're saying. Doing so. breakfast with fresh. You know, when we started the podcast with Tabang, the cameras were good. Oh. <laughs> the iPad, the story, Yeah. But I'm just saying, there's also the bigger picture of, you know, life direction or how you're directed. Yes. There are also some little nits and bits that you feel like, you know what, I should have maybe overcome that or surpassed that. But I did. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You're just talking about in general, in terms of, yes, gone through the, if maybe I was not fired there, those are life lessons and then they lead you to other successes. But then I believe that there are also stories where you put, I I, I think for instance, as a, a mom, I would probably tell tell my ch- my daughter is that you know you know how you grow up uh, how you're raised as women and say that oh fear men men are just about using you but instead of literally 
going to more detail and saying, okay, listen, this is how boys will approach you. This is how they'll make you feel. And therefore, this is how you overcome these what feelings. What are you saying? What are you saying? No, no, no. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to get... She's been waiting listen. for this. Listen. Yeah, we're listening. Listen. because no, with, no, no, with you. Saul took this to uh, how I'd advise my younger self. Yes. So there are... So That's very different than how you're going to advise no, no, your let child. Us speak. Let us no, speak. no, no. Let it's not speak. about the child. It's just about your younger self. Because you think back and this, this is when you correct... How you correct your younger self is maybe now you take it to your young your child, okay. right? So if you had a son, so you would now say, okay, listen, maybe instead of shellering girls this way, I would advise you shella that way. Yes. You get what I mean? So it's no you longer see, just about life direction on how you were successful. I beg, 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 small. Beg, beg. No, 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 no. Hold on. Beg. Oh, wait, man, man, man. <laughs> You see, and mac, that's mac, the beauty mac, mac, of mac. advising umtwana that is not your younger self. Mm. Of course, any child of mine, I'll tell them, this is how you handle money. Mm. This is what you do. When you find an opportunity and you find a person you're sure you want to be with, do X and Y and Z, mm. do. But myself, because of all those dark moments mm. led to me. Which you needed to go through. Yes. To so get I, to where you are. I, yes. So I can't tell my child, yeah, Kambul and Pano, you podcast in China. You get me? I can't tell them that. But I can say, hey, don't, because of. I know it doesn't bring anything. Yes. You know? So. <laughs> careful how you advise your child versus your younger self. Yes. They may sound like the same things. But it's because this one, I know the story already. I know how it ends. I know it starts there. And that's why I'm saying I wouldn't change a single thing. Mm. Hence, the conversation will be about my inner being and how I view myself, the self-doubt. <laughs> yeah, but oh, so... Now, <laughs> cutting the blue ribbon, the invisible ribbon. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> blue ribbon. Oh, we're breaking bread. <laughs> You're cutting the blue ribbon. <laughs> See, but what? so, also, <laughs> I'm sure that there are things that you feel like you didn't even have to pass through. No, Ghosty. No, Ghosty. There are some things no, that you... Uh, look, you, look, no, look. I'm, I'm serious. Me, me, me living in Hobro, yes. You needed to. I didn't. That's content. I, I didn't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> For but, MacGyver. But in Kulila Guyo, and uh, I took a lot of great lessons from it. Yeah, but yes, I didn't need to do gambling, be a womanizer. I was a super womanizer. Yo. Really? Yo. How? And it's, yo, yo, yo. How Link would fame. Yo. <laughs> Sorry. And, 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 and partly... All of that. Oh, Megan Jani, so I, I was telling someone the other day that sleeping with a lot of people. How many women have nice. you slept with? May so? have been. Ah, it's not no, nice. Now I make a wheel and I feel possibly wheel. because of that. Yeah. You understand? It's energy uh. stuff. So I always sit and, and think, <laughs> I always sit and think at face value, I look at it as so? I had a gambling problem, but the whole dark cloud around my life could have been caused by other decisions and other lifestyle decisions and choices that I made. Yeah, well, so to me, it's like, damn, man, I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to go through that. Mm. But I found... Thank you, that's I what I I found why yeah. I went through it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm at peace with it because it sprouted new avenues and new paths. So to me, it's like... Okay. It may have sprouted, but you also understand that. You I didn't did, need to go through. You didn't yes. need to it's, go through. Thank you. You know why? Because yeah. let me tell you, I'd probably be married, living in Bryanston mm. or Santin or Rosebank, mm. you know, living a nice life mm. on radio with Fresh. Because we're at, 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 thing at, at five. Metro did actually want us, but he went there alone because I had already resigned at five. But I could have then be comfortable, you know. Had the basic TV show and 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 mm. I know with your man the moon eight o'clock I wo in you get tease nah, and think just say freeze at nine four seven. Ah no, I doubt it. You don't think you'll be doing live freeze at nine four seven? Doubt it. Mm. Doubt it. Mm. I, was be I was listening to radio the other day. Worry, when do you tell when your phone is going to ninety percent? <laughs> you, your battery is about to die. 
Jesus. When you, you're praying about the devil, who the fuck was that? <laughs> who was that? They all know themselves. <laughs> no, no, what did he say? Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm rephrasing it. Uh, oh, he wait, said, wait, he wait. said, <laughs> this is a call out. Who take he? I know who it is. For now, for now. Yeah. IT. Biggest. So remember, it's 18, 33, 48. And 58. I <laughs> How many times is your phone likely to go off in a day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. That was the call out. You know, Subtap, Subtap. Sapta, do I fame? Oh. Sapta! Uh, um, so, it this is called... I love Sapta. This is, this is, this is evening radio. No, daytime! Mm. No, Sapta is like from 9 to 12. 9 to 12. Yeah, after the breakfast show. Oh. 18, he takes calls. People are guessing five times. What? <laughs> really? People phone call, calls off four times a day. <laughs> My phone is never off, eh? And then they call 58. Wow. Ari. Congratulations, it's four times. Oh wow! Oh, so you. Oh, were, so it's the research time that, that you your was phone doing a is most likely to go way off. To. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Man, shout out to Sapta. He's got a song, Ding Attack, a beautiful song, though. But yeah, yeah that's funny. I want your police hang on. Yeah. Shout out, but that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Well done, so, so you. Yeah, she's a police. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now we never read your show, Saul. Yes, we uh, never read your show, Emma Mela. Until, until, until Nati Silalele, I'm going to call out Ako. Yes, Emma Mela. Ning Chache, hey, feel, feel free, Ning what, Chache. What's the dumbest call out you've had? Where I you can't were, remember all the calls. Where you were like, fuck, what, is, what are we doing? I can't remember. How's the traffic? Because if, cause if, yeah, I yeah, do traffic. Yeah. Do you guys do what are you having for breakfast? No, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. What did you have for breakfast? We don't, we don't do that. What are you currently eating? We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. How's that traffic looking like where you are? Traffic is traffic. You're going to have traffic on the breakfast show. No, I'm saying that People exactly. are in traffic. They're stuck yeah. in traffic. Yeah. So yeah. It's, how's, it's, it's, how's it's, a, it's a mandatory thing. People yeah. are in traffic mm. and they want to know. You've never had a call out where you're like, what the fuck are we doing here? No, nah, because I say it in the in the boardroom, in the office. When we plan the show, I'm like, I okay. that's a weak call out. Or that's a weak okay, what, give me a weak call out that you... You diffuse from difficult, the boardroom. man. Oh, God. just one, one that you diffuse from the boardroom. Ah, I can't remember. You know, Mackie, give me your weakest call out. Then, yeah, like, Mac, what was your weakest? Seven. Ah, it's difficult. On fire, they're all on fire. Bro. Oh, on and fire. that's what I think as well. Oh. I think I was on fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> At two a.m. You know, nine four seven. Shout out to Rob Marawa, man. He's dating Tando. Whoa! Oh. Rumors have it. I mean. Yeah, they've been together, sing together. That, that nice, uh, um, cozy. Ah, vibe. It looks like but a isn't PR Tando thing, going um, going away, going uh, overseas. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a PR thing. You reckon? Well, it's like David Mashavala dating Ghost Lady. You know, that's oh. a PR nightmare. Oh. Or like Robin Marawa dating Pearl Tusi. <laughs> yeah. I I I has got a deadly list though. Aye, <laughs> right, man, he doesn't miss. Mm. Right. Would you would you rock Tando Tabuli? No, she's not my type, bro. I had a, I had a, I had a. Uh, yeah, she's not your type. I had no, a she's not my listening type. session. And she's beautiful and all. She's mm. fine. She's great. Perfect for someone like a Rob. I mean, but not my type, no. Bro, I had a listening session with Mahu. You listening or you in studio? Hey, Mahu, bro. Hey, Mahu, how do Hey, man, Mahu, bro. Yo. Mahu? Mahu. Oh, oh, who's Mahu? Oh, who's Mahu? Oh, oh where? Nah. Where? Where? I come I I come I'm no music. I think again. you forgot to. Ta. Mahuta. Hey man, we are the heaven for that. Yo, it's like Sean Yee Lang, and I don't know where now. Oh, yo, na la. Bow. That girl who sings on that song and many other songs. Amazing okay. song. We are the heaven podcast and chill. They turn into the podcast to me. Nothing, nothing.
<laughs> podcast today. Today podcast. It was what it was. Uh, We're coming at you live from David Mashabela Studios. If well you want to use the studio, yeah. email yeah. studio yeah. at Mashabela. No, the email is podcast at Mashabela If you want to use these studios, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our friend of the show. Uh, this guy is so amazing. We call him the Kingmaker because uh, if you want to win a Grammy. You gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> Please welcome Volta Kellerman. <laughs> How are you, sir? Oh, fantastic. Thanks for having me. It's really, really great to be here. Um, I was asking you off air, how, how do I introduce you? Like, like who, 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 who is Volta? I'm first a flute player or flutist. Some people, people say flautist, flautist. But yeah. my my main thing is I play the flute. Yeah. Then I also produce and compose and, you know, and... Um, just in the music business generally. So when you say compose and produce, like do you like sit in behind the programs like Fruity Loops and Cubase and all that? I use Logic. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, I record all my own flute stuff. But I normally when I compose, I don't do it in Logic. I do it with people. You know, I maybe have a guitarist or a keyboard player and we play it together. Yeah. And we arrange things while... I'll just be noodling on the flute, yeah. trying to create a new melody. So it's the, most of the composing happens on the flute. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Listen to this, ghost lady. Listen okay. to his accolades. This is what he's accomplished. All right. First ever individual musician to win two Grammys. Wow, individual. Yeah, okay. in South Africa. Because okay. we've had, we've got uh, Lady Smith, Baza, which won. is a group. Which is yeah. a group, yeah. yeah Soweto Gospel Choir, they've oh, won yes. three. But as individual artists, um, there's Mary Makeba, yes. one in 1966, I think. Mm. Yeah, and then there's Black Coffee, of course. Yeah, yes. and I, I saw you had him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing. And then uh, Alfie, this year, Nomklebo and uh, Zakes won with me. Oh, nice. So we won it together. So tell us about this Grammy. Which one is this Grammy? This is the this, first one you won. This was the first one in... Hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't talk to it like it's just a... <laughs> 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 this is a Grammy. This is a Grammy. First time seeing a Grammy live. <laughs> and no, it's fucking heavy, bro. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture with the Grammy. Definitely. I need a picture with the Grammy. <laughs> We're kidnapping you. We're selling this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We Just can fix the country. My name, yeah. your name <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the first Grammy you won. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, this this was like a mind blowing uh, because you know it's it's been on my bucket list forever. Mm -hmm. Because you know in in the acting world, there's the Golden Globes, there's the Oscars, there's the Cannes Film Festival, yeah. but in the, uh, international awards, but in the music world, the Grammy is the thing. It's the pinnacle. Yeah, it's there's nothing else really, and so everybody wants to get a Grammy nomination. Yeah. So when I started out, my dream, and it seemed impossible at the time, was to get a Grammy nomination. So when we got, in 2014, the Grammy nomination for this album, it was a collaboration, an Indian-South African collaboration. I, I like to work cross-culturally. Oh. So um, uh, I, I'd already achieved my wildest dream to, to get this Grammy nomination. And then we went to the Grammys just for the party, you know, and... Uh, on the eve of the Grammys, there's the Baltimore Hotel where, where, where everybody stays. And we hanging out in the pub there in the bar. And uh, the other guy that was favorite to win, Peter Cater, he came out, he says, do you have a speech? I said, no, I'm, I mean, we don't have a chance to win. He says, and he's, he, at that stage, had been nominated seven times without winning. And he was favorite to win that year. Yeah. And um, he said to me, I think go and think about your speech. It'll be embarrassing when you go on stage and you don't know what to say. Yeah. So I so after after that I went back to the hotel room and quickly thought of something. Yeah. But I I wasn't prepared. And the next morning I thought I'll practice my speech while the other awards are happening. Yeah. And then we were first on. Oh wow. And then I was like, oh no, what I'm gonna do? I don't even know what I want to say. Yeah. So I'm sitting there and um, I'm like, um, and everybody's coming, you know, I know a lot of people that's coming to talk to me and I, and, and I can't practice my speech, you know, and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? And then I close my eyes so that nobody can speak to me. Sitting there and practicing my speech and Tulsi, my manager, says to me, stop it, people think you're praying. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you collaborated with someone, who was it? This was Ricky Cage. He's an okay. um, Indian uh, producer All right. and musician. And we had been working together for uh, a couple of years before that. And we we um, realized that um, South Africa and India has got a lot in common, actually. Mm. Um, and, and you've been to India, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And since then, I've been, I go every year 
Yes, yeah, yeah. Because Mahatma Gandhi uh, uh, came to South Africa first and developed his ideas of uh, peaceful resistance in yeah. South Africa, and he was a big influence on Nelson Mandela. Wow. So we realized that. So we wrote a song for Nelson Mandela and a song for Mahatma Gandhi, and we thought, well, this, and we worked so well together, and we made this whole album. And that's the one that eventually won the Grammy. Here are the accolades, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was just starting, bro. <laughs> 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 Two times Grammy winner, individual, yeah. ever in SA, right? Uh, one of the Grammys he won uh, was with Zakes in Montrebo. Mm -hmm. Four times Grammy nominated. Whoa. Nominations. Okay. And with the nominations, these are the nominations, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell us more about this, the, the nominations, yeah? Yeah, so you can, this is the, um, like when you get nominated, you get this medallion. Oh, yeah. so you get a medal to yeah, just, okay. Medal. Just being nominated. Yeah. So that so you get this, and then if you that if you win, you convert it into a, <laughs> a trophy. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I I was nominated. In so Burner Boys got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he did win one a couple of years ago. <laughs> he, yeah, I don't think he was happy this year. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can get those when you're doing races, like five kilometers, ten kilometers. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so it's just, it's just a, it's just a. You get that medal, so you there's a the, the also the night before the Grammys, the evening before the Grammys, you go and there's a celebration of all the nominees, and you get your medal and you take photos and. And um, and that's the, that's a big event. It's beautiful um, because in all likelihood you're only going to get nominated because it's mm. you know you probably won't win because there's yeah. four other people. So you win one in five, you know. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. He's also eight times South African Music Award winner. Yeah, Summers. Oh. Summers. Yeah. We've won them eight times. Yeah. Wow. Thirteen times South African Music Award nominations. Yeah. So the Summers do they? If you're nominated, do they give you something like this? No, you only when you when you win. Oh, cheapskates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, I've got eight, so. Yeah. Uh, three times number one oh on the US Billboard charts. Yeah. Also, you're an ambassador for SOS Kids. Uh, we'll talk about more about that later. But I just wanted to let people know, like, how big of a deal you are. Yeah, it's, it's kind of adding up over the years. It's um, And it's quite difficult for a flute player mm. you know because it's not mainstream so what's fascinating what you were telling me is that you actually started music when you were 44 yeah i actually i started playing the flute when i was 10 years old yeah and i loved it and then when i when i left school i wanted to go and study music but we didn't have money for me to go to university so um but i was also good at maths mm. so I, I got a i was offered a bursary by anglo-american to study engineering um so i did at uj Mm. That was my only chance to go to university, so I went. I went there, still played the, the flute every day, and I won the um, UJ the talent festival there. Still played with symphony orchestra, all that kind of thing. And then after that, I had to work back for Anglo American on the coal mines, and um, and that was in Whitbank now, uh, what used to could be called Whitbank. And um, so, but I didn't last long there, you know. And then I came back to Joburg. Decided to be a full-time musician and ran out of money in six months. <laughs> mm. And then I also had kids young mm. and my wife and I eventually split up. I got custody over the kids. So I had to be the prime, primary caregiver. I had to look after the kids. And so I couldn't go on tour, you know, as a musician. Mm. So I, every few years I would swap over to become a full-time musician mm. and run out of money. And the engineering paid well. Yeah. So I started my own engineering company to, to help me. Um, still have a bit of time for music. Sure. And um, so I basically waited 20 years until my kids grew up. Fuck yeah, me. I waited, Sorry. played the flute every day for 20 years, still traveled overseas to learn, to mm. study. Mm. Um, and uh, like three weeks a year, I would be away from the kids. I would go and do master classes overseas. And finally, in 2005, six, my, my daughter left university, my son left school. And suddenly things got a whole lot cheaper. Yeah. So, so, so then I was like, "Let me try again." And then I sat around the, the kitchen table with my kids, and I said, "What do you want to achieve? Yeah. You know, what what's your dreams?" These are your kids. Yeah, my kids are because like they now I've finished university and they now know I'm going to finally follow my dreams. People thought I was crazy because I had a successful engineering company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now to 
you know, an old white man playing a flute. <laughs> <laughs> Things weren't looking very good. That's a white joke, but it's, it's funny. Though. It's, it's a white joke, but it's funny. We will laugh alone. Yeah. So, um, so I said to them, my dream is to have a Grammy nomination. My second dream was to represent South Africa at a big event like World Cup. You know, I want to play at the World Cup. And um, um, and the third dream, because at that stage, I was in love with Nora Jones. Oh, Nora and Jones. Oh. Oh. I was in love because she had the, that big album, Come Away With Me, that won eight Grammys, sold 30, 35 million copies that year. Mm. And I was like, I want to do a duet with her. I mean, so I'm dreaming big. Mm. You know, I haven't, I'm just starting out. And I'm dreaming big. And... Um, so I I just started. And but tell me, bro, like like how does it happen? Because like um, you know, SA is full of uh, creatives. Yeah. Music wise, like we knock it out. We the have park. the world's best talent. You understand? In South saying? Africa. Yeah. But no one ever thinks about a Grammy. Too. I mean, I, I'm not yeah. a yeah. artist per yeah. se, but I love music. Yeah. And I think a Grammy is unattainable. Yeah. That's but what for I you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For you to. Play a flute, which is worse because yeah, yeah. like that's not popular. Yeah, yeah. For you to think you can win a Grammy by that, like, yeah. but you know, all three of those goals were impossible. To play at a World Cup, <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, that's impossible. To to get a Grammy nomination, impossible. To to play a duet with at that time, the world's biggest. But it's kind of like you uh, knew it was going to happen. I, I I I I believe that you can. I believe anything is possible, but. If you, you might have to kill yourself in the process working. And also, it took so long. <laughs> you know? So, so I'm, a, I'm a young kid in the township making bedroom music. I can win a Grammy. Yeah, but I mean, it takes sacrifices. You know, you, 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 it's like I sacrificed. I mean, I, I just, I, just uh, I, I woke up, did music, and I didn't... My family, my, my kids were big, so I didn't have to spend that much time. So I, my life was music. And I, 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 I had to travel overseas because if you used to stay here, it's very hard to win a Grammy. So you number one, you have to travel. You have to, your, your music. But now these days, then it was true. But these days, social media, social, social media, media, and the internet, and the, I, you know, you can do so much more. Mm. You know, in those days you had to travel. You had to go. Can, can you give me the... Blueprint or the journey, like the of formula. How to, yeah, okay. the formula of how. To yeah, I can. I know the formula exactly. Please let me know. Let me know. <laughs> so, I'm trying to win a Grammy. <laughs> now the formula, the 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 most difficult first thing is the music. So you have to make amazing music where every split second is exactly the way you want it. If you're not perfectly happy, then other people are not going to be supporting it. So that's the first step, and that's not a. It's easy to say. But it has to be fresh. It has to be creative, and and it's just hours and hours in the studio. And don't let anything ever go. Like okay, it's nice, but it's not perfect. Don't let it go. Work on it. Work on it until it's like mind-bogglingly good. Then, so that's the first step. Second step is um, in the Grammy world. Um, there's um, fourteen thousand voters. Um, fourteen thousand. These are all. Musicians, engineers, producers, mostly in the U.S. So, and there's 22,000 entries every year. So nobody is going to listen to all the entries. Mm. Nobody can listen. So if you're not known, even if you are, and this is what happened to us initially, because mm. we made beautiful albums. We, from the my first album, I'm still happy with today, but nobody knew about it. So we we got nowhere with it because people didn't know about it. Mm. So you have to be in the U.S. Traveling, mm -hmm. while well, those days you had to be now, but you have to reach the ears of of those people somehow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And so you have to be touring, traveling, gotcha. social mediaing at the moment, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, and and um, so those base those are the two ele basic elements. It's not it's not good enough just to make the music, yeah. And it's not just good enough to have that whole. Um, promotional part but both need to so be. how do you explain the burner boy situation because everything that you just mentioned that yeah. uh, every, everything you just mentioned now he like did it to the max yeah. he was touring the world to the max yeah the music was great people yeah. loved it 
Yeah. Uh, yet your song won over. Yeah. So what what is the song? Last last. Last last. last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that was a popular song. Yes, right? wow. yes, yes. No, what happened is the, the brief to the Grammy community is to vote on quality alone, not to listen to social media, not to listen to hype. Huh. So once you get to their ears, they have to listen to the songs and they have to decide which is the best global music because this is in the global music category, which is another word for world music, which is the best global music song. Mm. And that's what they had to vote on. Bro, so, but there was no song bigger than Last Last. Yeah, but but the the Grammy people on uh, their brief is not to look at how big it is. Ah, oh. yeah, that that shouldn't come in it at all. They don't look at popularity. They they look at quality of the music. They they listen to the five songs, the nominees, and they say which song is the best song. Oh. That's what they vote on. Mm. That's why. You know, even though uh, Burner Boy was so huge, we could still uh, walk away with because people, the Grammy voting community, the musicians, the producers, engineers, thought that our song was better than his song. Did you know Last Last? Did you think Last Last deserved to win? Well, I I I'm, I love Burner Boy. Yeah, you know, I think he's absolutely amazing, mm. and I really enjoyed that song. Uh, yeah. But it's not a very deep song. I mean, it's not. It's um, it's. It's an amazing song, but um, but I kind of felt um, our song had a bit more depth, depth, versatility, or um, has got more African roots in it, mm. you know, because I, I think roots wise. And I think, yeah, I mean, yeah, now that you said last, last, now everybody going chop breakfast. Yeah, it's, it's, nothing not deep. Deep. it's like it's a small, but. <laughs> and, and you know, it's, it's, it's got the, the, the. <laughs> From Tony Braxton, the song, right? It, yeah, she sampled Tony Braxton. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I think, but, but I think the, the Grammy voting community probably thought, well, there's maybe there's more musical, there's more quality. That's what I think. I don't know. I'm not in their shoes, mm. but I can just explain why that happened. Because in the first round, Ed Sheeran had an entry mm. uh, with Peru. Wow. Um, oh, yeah. 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 And they didn't even make the nomina nomination shortlist. Oh, yeah. Justin Bieber a had a collab. Song. Yeah. Justin Bieber had a collab that didn't make the so those they didn't make the nominations list, the five nominees, because this is the people vote and then it's they choose the best five. Those are the nominees. Yeah. And then from the five nominees, the winner gets chosen. And uh, a little birdie told me that um your second Grammy, you got it yesterday. Yeah, I just arrived. It just arrived. You know that that Grammy that you receive on stage. Yes, they, it's not you can't take it home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they have to put your name, engrave your name, and everything. So then they send it, uh, send it to you months later. Can you please let's unpack it? Yeah, for the first I time in one podcast, another podcast exclusive. Yay! <laughs> this is an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Yeah, look. So this is the first time first you are time. ever seeing it. It's first time. This is still. So if there's a mistake, you will know the mistake. I know it now. <laughs> I don't even know what's what's going to say on on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, yeah, it's from. Uh, For all you know, they gave you Beyonce's grade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just open it. <laughs> this is from City Thirty Olympic Boulevard, Santa Monica. In LA, so that's yeah. why I know it's, it's yeah, Grammy, that's so. real. Yeah, <laughs> okay. why, why does it take so long for them to ship the Grammy? Um, to you? Let, let's open it. Yeah, Can you not do the you, honors. You I've, never, I've never held the Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually give him the credit. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. why, why does it take so long? Uh, well, I've I don't know. They they have to engrave all of them, and there's actually quite a lot of Grammys yeah. for all the all the different categories. I think there's um, about. Uh, just under a hundred categories mm. in total because there's engineering, there's classical music, there's jazz. Um, and so I'm not used to awards. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> not used to or awards. just unboxing. <laughs> or unboxing in general. And you don't see it. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Because Lady Kanye. Look at this. <laughs> Everybody seeing this? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Look at this beauty. Oh. Wow. So, 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 so does Zakes have one like this as well? I'm, I'm sure he's has arrived as well. And Nomkebo. Yeah. We, each of us gets one. 
How did you guys uh, work together? Like, how did that come about? The I actually, I decided to do an all South African collab this year because I like to work um, cross culturally, and so I reached out to them. Um, um, so let me just see it first. Mm. There you go. I haven't seen it. <laughs> wow, best global movie. Oh, you see, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is so shiny. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I I wanted to do all South African collaboration, and I uh, loved uh, Nomklebo's voice because I just think I and I thought that deep voice yeah. will go so nicely with the flute. Mm. So that was my first idea, and then Zakes and I have been speaking for about five six years about possibly doing something together. So I saw him at the Samas. And started talking, dis- and it um, turns out that um, his management chair, Sibo, is um, Zakes and Nklebo's manager. So it kind of just fell into place. I said, let's do something together, and they were both keen. Good. And um, so we, we started working together. I sent them some ideas, and then Zakes had an idea that he sent, um, uh, and then I liked that idea. And... Um, so we sent that idea to Nuklubo. She added some vocals. And then I took those elements and produced it with a producer called J.B. Arthur, mm. um, who I've worked with, amazing, amazing producer. And we brought all the other elements and produced it. And uh, and it just fell into place. It was one of those things were meant to be. You know, it mm. was just... Uh, Man, I'm, 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 I'm... I need you to make me understand, man. I'm struggling to understand how this Grammy thing works because, to be honest, no, I've never heard of that song. Yeah, so... I only heard it after you guys won. I'm yeah, like, exactly. okay, let's listen to it to hear yeah, that was, what's so amazing that, yeah. you know... No, we had some hurdles. What's bigger than Cantini that they did? <laughs> <laughs> well, Cantini is his song. <laughs> So he's mad at why he doesn't have a Grammy. <laughs> you need to motivate. Did you, did you get that sense from the country? Like no one had. No, missed. actually, we had we had some problems. Just, uh, speak on uh, the mic. We yeah. had some problems because um, uh, you know, um, Clebo still was still in legal uh, uh, with the label. Yes. Yeah, with the label, mm. and uh, so the label, the moment we released it, took down the song. Jeez. Whoa. Yeah. They open mic. They put. They took yeah. down the song because they was like saying, "The song doesn't belong to you because Nomklebo is still under and contract us, with yeah, us." Yeah, yeah. So, on, so they took it down. And they do automatic renewals. Hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so that was the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was a very big shock to us. So the song. Uh, then they they resolved it in the end, okay. but they resolved it just before the. The Grammys. So what I'm saying is the song didn't have the time mm. to get out there oh. and to and to get heard. Oh you know? I see. Yeah. I see. So that was that was definitely a stumbling block. Mm. Um and but they in, in the end resolved all the, the legal agreement and they let it go and um and it was but and then the Grammys happened. Mm. So yeah. how, how, how does winning a Grammy change your life? Like how 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 does it change it? Oh the you know, it, it, it's huge, but often it, if you don't, if you're not hustling, it does nothing. Coffee, yeah. black coffee, coffee said same, that. Same, same thing, thing. Yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. You have to hustle. It's, it's a tool that you can use to hustle. But I know some people who've won Grammys and they, uh, if, you don't, if you just sit and wait for work to come to you or this, nothing's going to happen. Mm. You know, you still, uh, we, we hustle every day. <laughs> So when you're hustling, do you mention to people that I'm a Grammy award-winning artist? Of course, of course, <laughs> and that that helps. Okay, you know that. So it does you, open if doors. If you put it opens doors. Yeah, if, and and like Sakes was saying, yesterday's price is not today's price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you charging now? <laughs> so it definitely helps, you know, especially after the first Grammy, my the fee that I was charging for performing and for corporates and. Uh, definitely went up because if you once you're a Grammy winner, you know you, you uh, uh, people look at you in a different way, and it helps you. It helps you with the marketing because you don't have to market so hard and convince people that you can do, mm. you know, that you can make amazing music. Because it's impossible to buy a Grammy. No, you can't. You can't. No, no, no. paper no. bag. 
Brown uh, envelope. Brown vel- no. envelope vibes. Maybe, maybe if it was based in South Africa, that would be possible. <laughs> <laughs> it was handled by the government. <laughs> yeah, because they can't. Like, so if, if that were to come out, then no one would respect the Grammys, right? Yeah. No, you can't. You can't buy it. And because, I mean, how are you going to buy all fourteen thousand voting members? Yeah. And also, nobody knows who they are. Mm. There's no list. There's no list. So you that you can reach out to, you know. So uh, you so, you can't. You know, there's no way that you can. Please explain the kind of rooms that you're getting into now. Like. I, can you just get into Ed Sheeran during a session and just walk in there and be like, hey, man, <laughs> I can do this for you. You know what I mean? Like, what I can, I can play a, a note right yeah. <laughs> No, I think the doors that it opens is, is that everybody that I want to collaborate with that I've asked have say yes. Wow. You know, it does say yes. But I'm and who are those I, people? But, but, uh, um, but I don't really, um, I haven't reached out to those A-listers. You know, I well, think, the yeah, you know. I mean, like Ed, I would love to do something with Ed Sheeran or Sting. Sting? Yeah, I would love oh, to do something with Sting, him, but yeah. I don't even know where to get a hold of these guys. You know, mm. I, I don't and um, I don't think the Grammy is going to make any difference to Ed Sheeran or Sting, you know. But um, so those are the top A-listers. So I, Who are I, some of the uh, musicians? So that? I've got a very, very big uh, pan-African collaboration. Okay. But I can't tell you yet. Okay. <laughs> but you'll hear, you'll hear in about two months. But who are some of the big artists that you've met? Like, and uh, sh- shook hands, worked together. I, Give us some some of the names. I haven't, you know, um, we were, Tossie always teases me because we were at the Grammys and um, Rihanna walks past and uh, I said to her, who's that? Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> Yeah, she had to explain to me. Yes. Yeah, no, but I know Rihanna, but I didn't I, I, I don't follow the, the all the all the yeah. pictures and yeah. I don't read all the magazines. So yeah. I didn't recognize her. Wow. But um but yeah, I'm not I'm not really starstruck and into the celebrity thing. So um, you know. I'm so afraid. you could have met Beyonce and you didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the Grammys, you know, there's there's the A-listing part. It's like you, that, you know, if you've won only two Grammys, you can't get in there. Oh. Or if you if you you have to be, you know, the Beyond. I can't get into the same party that Beyonce gets into. You know, that's still on another level. Um, so we go to our, you know, the official Grammy party, and there's amazing people, but. These, in my mm. opinion, mm. are the real quality people mm. because now all the jazz Grammy winners, all the classical Grammy, Grammy winners, all the top engineers, the top producers, uh, you know, the global music, uh, uh, the, the, you know, um, all of them are there. And these are the real quality Wait, musicians. Wait, so you're saying there's another section where… In, in order to get in, you need to have won how many Grammys? Yeah, I, no, I'm just saying um, the A-listing community yeah. is the more, uh, the, I'm more niche. Yes, yes. But remember Black yes. Coffee did mention this, that there's two parties or there's two award ceremonies where yeah. you get the other ceremony awards the yeah. day before, then you get the main yeah. events. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's on the same day. So and, and at 12 o'clock LA time, Okay, it's the, um, it's most of the Grammys. All right. hmm. The more, the more important Grammys yeah. in the wow. afternoon, in my in yeah, my view. Yeah, yeah. But in the evening, is the that big... same evening is then the pop, ah, the rock, yes. you know, the rap. Yeah, yeah the rap, yeah. And uh, album of the year, mm. you know, song of the year. And, and He's still calling it rap. It's called trap now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called rap. Oh, it's changed. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that's crazy, yeah. man. So you've never had like a wild experience with like an artist that you've always wanted to work with. I have met people like Hans Zimmer, uh, who's who wrote like probably the, the most prolific and most successful score writer for films. Mm. But you know that's that's just my hero. Mm. <laughs> you know? We want so, yeah, yeah. Mm. So it's a whole different. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not really interested to meet. Um, yeah, some of the, the Kardashians I'm not interested to meet. But you've met them. You've met them. <laughs> no, I haven't met them. Mm. And I'm, but I'm I'm not starstruck. 
Man, what a waste, man. If that was me. <laughs> Yo, Rihanna, what, what's up? I'm going to kill him. Let's talk about um, America's Got Talent. There's a choir that did really well. Uh, what is it? The Lovu Youth Choir. Yeah, yeah. What part did you play in that? Yeah, so actually oh. what happened was I did a whole album with um, Soweto Gospel Choir. Um, called Nelson Mandela, um, a tribute to Nelson Mandela. Um, so Is this called, where they won their Grammy? Um, no, that was actually the year before. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, so we did that whole album together. It's called Symphonic Soweto with um, Symphony Orchestra Choir. It was, I was very broke after doing that album because it's a whole symphony orchestra, a whole choir, you know, putting that all together. And my dream. Wait, was, wait. So, so you front up the money? Yeah. You Whoa. funded it? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, and my dream was to get Madiba a Grammy on his 100th celebration on his centenary. That was my biggest dream of all. And then he died. And, and, uh, well, he... (laughs) Well, (laughs) Mac. (laughs) Normally we do better, sorry. It's just not the day. (laughs) He was there. He had already died. It was the centenary. (laughs) Let me take this jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me hot. <laughs> no, so um, so I worked very, very hard. I spent like 5,000 hours Jeez. on that album. Spent a lot. I, I took a bond on my house. Spent that. No way. Yeah. No. And then it didn't happen. We didn't get that Grammy. It was very disappointing. Oh. But um, then what happened is other choirs started approaching me to do something. And, um, and this Nigerian artist um, asked to do something with me in Soweto Gospel Choir, but Soweto Gospel Choir was busy. So we were looking for a choir, and we couldn't find a choir that was available on that day for that project. And uh, Tulsi, my manager and friend, uh, then phoned her around. She found the Ndlova Youth Choir. They're based in Mutse. It's like three hours from Joburg. Mm. And they had very little work. They, they were struggling choir and so we got them to do this project with us Mm. and they were amazing Mm. they were they were like mind-bogglingly good Mm. you know they were amazing so i thought let me see if i can help them um to broadcast their talents so we did a song we the ed sheeran's shape of you we did our own version of it and um, put it on went viral then america's got talent yes saw this clip Uh on youtube reached out to the choir and says, come, enter America's Got Talent. Wow. And then they went to America's Got Talent. I they went that. all the way to the finals, wow. came back. They were famous. Oh. And the next year, I mean, they've been so incredibly successful. They're touring Europe at the moment. They've they've settled their, their financial future for the next decade. Wow. Yeah. yeah so. It's amazing. So, sure. So that. It was amazing, and I was thinking, "Wow, this is this mind." I just to have played a, a small part yeah. in, in helping them. Then I thought, "Can I do something? Can I do it again?" Mm, 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 mm. Because there's also a Mzanzi Youth Choir, mm. who's just as amazing. Mm, they mm. are incredible. So I thought, "Let me try. Let mm. me see if this is something I can can we repeat it?" So, um, and we, we didn't think it, it's possible, but I did. I did a couple of songs with them, and. Uh, America's Got Talent, I don't know why, but America's Got Talent reached out to them about two months ago, said, come. Come through. And they they went, and this Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm. They are, they'll be live, on, they'll be on TV. Wow. In America. Yeah. They've actually shot that episode. Wow. Already. But it'll be live tomorrow. It'll be live. So watch it. And Wednesday, you'll hear some big news. Oh, wow. Yeah. So... Oh, it's just, nice. it's just amazing that this. Vota, si vota la way. No, I don't, I don't want to take credit for that because, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know why America's got to how they found them. What do you get out of that? No. What do you? Nothing. Get? No, Nothing. Just, no, I'm just helping them. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just I, because I love these kids. Mm. I just want to help them. Mm. So, um, so, um, but, yeah. So, 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 uh, you an engineer. Started music at 40. You've won two Grammys. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, like right now we need more 
electricians than DJs, but... <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We, and piano, guys. <laughs> if anything, we could have made this episode about engineering. That's it. <laughs> but there's a lot of people doing music in this country. Yeah. What advice can you give them? And I don't want it to be like a PR yeah. answer, whatever. Yeah. I'm just saying, what have you learned and how can people monetize music? Because like music is very uh, rooted in... Mm. Our society yeah. and as a country, like especially now more than ever, because mm. unemployment is so high, so niggas and people are just getting in the studio making music. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a tough. It's it's really is tough to make money in the music industry. Um, and even myself, I mean, in my case, I can just speak for myself. We make most of the money from performing. You know, we don't make much from streaming yeah. YouTube and we're doing quite well on YouTube but um, it's not a lot of money at the end of the day you know and um, so but I mean in the in this social media world I think people can do much better than I I'm doing because I, I don't have time but I mean the the answer is you have to do everything yourself you can't just be a musician it's a business you know you those days we say, well, I just want to make the music and I need a manager to do this and an assistant to do that. No, you have to do everything yourself. Shoot it, you know, like I, I, I do my own engineering. I, I do my own editing. Mm. Uh, I go, I have a little studio set up at home. I do all that stuff myself. And I think that's the way to go, kind of a realistic way. You know, you, you're just not going to find a manager in your early stages of your career that is... Um, that's going to be spending their time to promote you. Mm. You know, uh, some people are lucky and mm. they get that, but mm. most people, uh, you have to do everything and you have to be savvy and you have to be social media savvy and you have to, you know. T tell me about scoring. How does scoring work? Like with the movies and stuff? Yeah. Um, well, you know, Hans Zimmer doesn't write, it, it's, it's not written down. You do it in, um, you know, in, in say Logic or Pro Tools, but you, um, and there's so many tools available, you know, um, and you can just do it at home on your computer. No, no, but explain like scoring. How does that work? Because I hear there's a lot of money in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if if someone asks you to do a scoring of a film, yeah, yeah, then there, there's a lot of money in there. Uh, what's the, but, what, what's but, going on there? Uh, but how do you get in there? I, don't, I also don't know. Mm. I, I've, I, um, you know, it's not my core. But the thing is you have to do, the way to do that is to, to make your service available and do some small projects and people hear it and then, you know, gradually build up to, to bigger projects. Mm. And, um, but the, the nice thing is that you can do it at home with all the tools available, mm. you know, so it's very practical for anybody to. Cause right now what's it. happening is, um, everybody's thinking, okay, cool. I gotta have a hit. Once I have a hit, I'll get gigs. That's how I make money. Yeah. And then boom, it's out. But yeah. you can't have a hit. Every week, no. But yeah. yeah, if you if you have a big hit, that's helps. <laughs> you know, that's, no. Yeah, I mean that's that's amazing. Yeah. If you can have a big hit that really sets you up, yeah. then allows your hustling machine to go full, you know, full full out. So I've got a hit right now, right? I'm gigging. Where else can I make money? Like I'm trying to understand: is gigging the only way? Like literally, the only way to make money. Well, um, that's where I make most most of it. But um, no, I mean you can do it on Spotify if you do well on Spotify, very streaming, well. Streaming, yeah. yeah, streaming, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, so um, and on YouTube, you know, that's the ways that 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 um, that you can get some money in. Where are your or gigs? branding? Sorry, I'm saying your gigs. Actually, I'm curious to where your gigs. The, most of my gigs uh, where I make the most money are the corporates. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, those are that's you know, if it wasn't for those, I'd really be struggling. So, nah. Yeah, okay. the corporates keep you going in yeah. South Africa, and it, South Africa is quite special like that, yeah, because overseas it's not so much. You know, we, we've got a special opportunity in South Africa because we don't have so many gigs every day. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the live music scene is dead, yeah, yeah yes, in, yeah. in Joburg, oh, yeah. there's yeah. like nothing happening, yeah. So the corporates fill that. Gap. Yeah, for that gap and they pay you for it. Uh -huh. So that's, um, you know, that's where we make most of the money. And then we we also travel overseas a lot, uh -huh. you know, just play festivals and, you know. 
Yeah, man. <clears throat> Jeez, man. So, what's the biggest check you've ever seen? Biggest check? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. Yeah. I'll tell you a funny story because my dream was to um, play at the at the World Cup. Yes. So, um, so that year, um, there was a South African delegation going to Medem. Mm. Medem is the at that stage was the world's biggest music conference, mm. and South Africa was the host country, 2010. Mm. And uh, so, um, so a whole lot like 60 South African musicians, musicians went to Medem to open. For the opening night, we we were the opening night's country, mm. so, and the French uh, press mm. sent uh, emails to everybody. Please send us a photo and information, and we were the only artist organized enough to send photos, and, <laughs> and uh, a lot of the other artists didn't. You know, the, you, you you can't just be an artist and not be organized. Mm. You have to be. If the phone rings. Boom. You have to get back within an hour yeah. to that person. Don't wait like three days mm, from now, mm, okay. because often that someone wants. If you Go wait three days, else. you've you've You'll lost it. Yeah. You know. So my advice is, some people say you know, within ten minutes re respond. Mm. Um, but I mean, we're we're on the ball, you know. So what happened? They, we send them press so on opening day of medium. There's like a big newspaper. South Africa comes to medium. Yeah. White flute player, yeah. the main picture. Yes. So, I mean, and then the South African delegation that went, all the ministers, yeah. everybody saw me, and a lot of them didn't know me at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So, so now fast forward to World Cup time. I'm like, uh, I mean, do, would you would you see a flute player playing at the closing ceremony of the World Cup? Mm. No, you've never seen that. Mm. But I'm putting it out there. Mm. And we just kind of believed, no, it's not going to happen. Uh -huh. Then one of the minister's assistants saw me at a gig and reminded the minister and they phoned the organizers and they said, we want this guy. Oh. So I got a call a week, a week before. Uh, Tulsi, my manager, got a call um, on the Monday. Do you want to play at the World Cup closing ceremony on Sunday? This is 2010. <laughs> 2010. Oh. So... So she thought it was a joke. Mm. So she says, yeah. And she she gave like triple my price. And they said, okay. <laughs> so, but we didn't, she thought it was a joke, like a, you know, yeah. 94.7, yeah. one of those things. <laughs> and then, and then we got asked and then on that, we, we wrote the song on Wednesday and record it because it has to pre-record it. Mm. You know, you don't perform live at the World Cup mm. because yeah. you slap back from mm. the crowd yeah, and everything. Yeah. yeah, so you pre-record it. So we pre-recorded the song the Wednesday for the Sunday. Mm. It was nerve-wracking. It was nerve-wracking. But on the Sunday, there I was with Lady Smith, like my mother, like my mother. Uh, so that was your highest paying gig when you tripled your Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he answered well it, eh? Yeah, he it's did Kim that. GP did, but he yeah. still answered. <laughs> but then right. what we did is we gave that extra money to SOS Children's. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> um, where are you staying now? Are you in SA or yeah. in America? Yeah, I'm here in Randburg. Yeah. I'm close to you. Is it? Yeah. And then America, like you never had ambitions to stay there? No, I don't want and to. And hustle there? I, I go there a lot, mm. but I don't want to live there. No? No, it's, I... It says the one. If I, I mean, I wouldn't choose the USA um, just because I miss the diversity of culture. Mm. And if you watch American TV, there's actually sweet spots in the US, yeah. like amazing spots, mm. you know. But if you watch the TV, American TV, it's all like mono. Mm. It's not very interesting. It's pretty bad. Mm. And it's, and it's, so I, I wouldn't want to live there because uh, you don't get the kind of interesting, the people here in Joburg. They're very interesting. Oh, they're amazing. And people are kind. Mm. You know, people like… Ubuntu. Yeah, people are across the the, the racial mm. and the barriers. Mm. People mm. negotiate each other. Mm. Difficult issues mm. with such kindness. Mm. And um, we've got competent, kind people here. Um, I, you know, I'm not happy with where the country is going of but at all. So but despite the load shedding, you still will stay. You <laughs> I'm stay? still, yeah, we've, we've got solar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's I, how you know people have So I can solar. do my studio. I mean, I can't 
I can't record four hours. I mean, like when when you got the people in, you have to have the power. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Uh, so we had to get solar to otherwise. Cool, man. So we're about to. What is what is this flute beatbox? Explain yeah. So this. I would, so I want to. This flute, you think it can only do like unique things, mm. but it can make a beautiful classical melody. It can make a jazzy, funky feel, and but then. We can also beatbox on the flute. Mm. We call it flute boxing. Flute boxing. Yeah. So I'll I'll show you a little bit. Um, hey, by the way, before you start, do you think black people created soul music? Like, you know, music that really matters. <laughs> it really matters. <laughs> 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 yeah, which, which music does not matter? <laughs> like, <laughs> like jazz, like the origin of jazz, bro. Yeah. It was it was it, it was, comes from it, it was black people, and it was even banned. Yeah. Because white girls. Um, so the powerful, the elite, yes. the white girls started going to these jazz clubs and smoking weed and stuff. Yeah. So they were like, no, we got to ban jazz. Uh -huh. And then jazz was banned. But yeah, I, I, definitely the, 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 you know, that music comes from Africa originally. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. Definitely. It's um, the spirited, you know, and that's why I want to be here in South Africa because mm. the spirit, and there's something that the, 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 you know, in the US and, the, and and Europe have lost in the process. You know, something that comes from your roots that, and it's still here in South Africa. Mm. That's why I like to be here. And that's why my piano is here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of other things. Mm. You know, we, um, we just went, um, I mean, it's just amazing music here that needs to be, not just Her. I'm a piano. Yeah. Just, but a lot of other music. It's amazing. And we're not very good at the marketing. Yeah, yeah. You know? America's very good at marketing. Yeah, yeah. They, very good, very good. And we we think, you know, South Africans suffer from uh, like a complex. But um, like once we started traveling, we realized we've actually got the best music here. Mm. Oh. Yeah, our music compares everywhere across the world, but we're not doing the promotion and the marketing, the marketing well yeah. enough. Mm. But now with I'm a piano, and I'm hoping it's gonna. And we just have been encouraging the Grammys to come to Africa. They, yeah, the CEO, the president was here. And um, so we're hoping for African Grammys. So you met with the CEO of the Grammys? Yeah. That's how you won it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's where the exchange is. <laughs> Actually, the Harvey Mason, the CEO of the Grammys, he's on that Burner Boy record. Whoa! On the same record? No, the, he was the the How? the the song that they sampled. Yeah, he was on that. Yeah. Oh, Tony Braxton. Yeah, right. yeah. So, oh. but that just proves you proves it to you. You can't. Yeah, you, know, you can't. Yeah, yeah you, you can't. can't. Yeah, because he, yeah, 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 yeah. he never won that way. Yeah, he never won it. Yeah, yeah. Never it that way. Yeah. Jesus, crazy man. Yeah. Cool. Let's go here. So you think a a flute can just do one thing, but it's amazing what it can do. So you take a little melody, two melodies, mm. like a low one and a high one, and then I'll add some beat to it. Okay. So maybe one like this. That's one. Mm -hmm. The other one. Now you're adding them. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Can you do the song you did for Madiba? What song did you do? Yeah, for that's Madiba? actually taken out of it. Oh, yeah, that's, okay, okay. That's because I, I I wrote the song for Madiba explaining his life, yeah. and that is from his crazy years when it's so hectic. 
That's part is from that. That's amazing. Yeah, bro. yeah. Uh, Ghost Lady, any questions? You'll be contacted by some up, you know, at some producer out there. After that, no, <laughs> just need a locked round. Yeah, yeah. locked round to do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to find out are there any songs that have been very popular that we are part of over the years? Like that we may not know that you're actually part of that song, you know? Um, like how you did the choir for America's yeah. Got Talent. Are there any yeah, other yeah. songs just that um, you're not part of? There yeah. have been some Grammy winning songs oh, wow. um, that, like, even this year. Mm-hmm. I was on a on a Grammy the the on a classical Grammy winning album. Okay, but you it's not uh, you know you you'll, we won't know that mm. song. Yeah. And then two years ago I was on a um, last year we got nominated on the uh, for a best uh, new age album, so we mm. got a nomination. But I was also on the winning one. We didn't win, mm. but the winning one had some some of my flute on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then two years before that there was a children's album. That won the Grammy that I was on. Wow. So, um, but um, yeah, not. I wouldn't say um, like um, some of the. Some Have you the, met some of presidents? Popular. Like while you're traveling? Um, yeah, I met uh, Modi, Narendra Modi. Mm. He came to South Africa, the Indian president, mm-hmm. and I was a featured artist at his welcoming wow. event. Wow. And then I got to shake hands with him and meet him. Mm. Yeah. Um, and your work with SOS also, aren't yeah. you? A, a question. Is it maybe you've got a connection with being, being an orphan or some? Or what's the relationship? I just love kids. Okay. So the, for the same reason, I, I love hey, you to can't support say that, the no, choirs. No, no, you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, be very careful. Because we don't want to hear some. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous times. Yeah, it's dangerous hey, times. Actually, yeah. You don't want you on a list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Times have changed. Yeah, 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 we yeah, can't be because... deleting this episode yeah. because <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about 20 years ago, I, I was like thinking, how can I support kids? And then I checked out a lot of charities mm-hmm. and I, I found the SOS Children's Villages. Mm-hmm. So they find kids that are... Uh, they don't have anywhere to go. They lost oh. their parents mm. or, you know, um, they, they're abused. And they create these nuclear families of 10 kids with oh. their house mother. Homes, yeah. And they create those homes. And I've been sponsoring 10, all the living expense of 10 kids at, uh, just in Ennerdale, south of Joburg, oh, wow. for 20 years. Also built a house for them in Rust- Rustenburg. Rusty. But, yeah. And uh, so that's, um, and yeah, times have changed, you mm. know, because it's actually so interesting because they used to come to my house and we'd be swimming in the pool. Mm. And, mm. Uh, but now in these times, you can't, you know, no. I, I wouldn't, I would be careful to be swimming with them in the pool. 100%. And it's so, it's such a shame. It's such a shame. It's a shame that things have changed like that yeah. because now I'd be too careful to do that. Mm. Yeah. We were just playing and I was, you know, and mm. yeah. So, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I think if you can help a child. Because they and you and you can make a difference. They take that difference into their future, yeah, and to their partners and they their kids. So it's like the best investment you can make. Yeah, she's your manager, or what? Yeah, Tulsi is my best friend and manager, nice. and she she started with me, and business partner. She she started with me when I started my full time music career. And how long yeah. you guys been dating for? <laughs> 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 MacGyver, we, we said good questions. You know what? Questions a, only. That's a very good question because we, should, we, we always say we married without benefits. Uh, <laughs> hey, we've got a toilet there, my friend. We've been sorry. Hey, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Vota, thank you so much, man. In closing, what are you busy with? Uh, what can people look out for? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm I'm bringing out a new song with Mzanzi Youth Choir. Okay. And we're just putting the finishes touches. Should be by end of next week. Mm. End of next week, you Friday will we'll drop it. And then we'll this is the video as well. Yeah. And then a couple of months later, Pan African collaboration yes. with East Africa. Wow. I'm really uh, looking forward to for that. It's um and so we'll and so that's um, Shout out to yeah. you, man. <laughs> Vota, may God continue to bless you, man. Look at this. Oh. Wow, man. It says National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, Vota Kelman, Best Global Music Performance 2022 by Yete with Zex Bantuna and Amdeva. Yeah. Mm. Wow, look at this, man. That's hey? beautiful. Have you ever held a Grammy? 
Bring it to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we are here podcast and chill. Boom. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.